Hello everybody, welcome to uh, El Dudorino vs Singolo in the uh, quarterfinals of the Chalice. Singolo has presumably lost the toss, seeing as he's on defense against some claws. Um, Singolo's team is a lot better, he's got like 10 guard, <laughs> and he's got a bunch of mighty blow. But, oh, only 9 guard actually, only 9 guard, huh. hardly any. Um, and El Dude Reno has one guard. But he does have a wizard. And he does have the claw palm. And you know, if the claw palm goes crazy, then he's going to win, isn't he? Or he's got a good chance of winning. So it's all going to be about getting as much value as he can from his claw and his claw palm. And trying not to get guard locked and everything. It's going to be interesting. Um, shame no one's in the booth yet. Hopefully someone will join. Anybody's welcome to. But, um, there you go. Well, there you go, he's killed the guy instantly. It's only a, it's only a shitter though. I think he should have set up the claw mighty hit against the uh, blitzer that was on the LS, personally, but fair enough. Especially as he had wrestle, right? So he had a better defensive skill. You really don't want your claw mighty wrestled, so I think. Not only was it a higher value target, like, you know, it's just, I'm, I'm not being overly critical here. But, um... It was a, it was a poor move, though. Hello, El. Like, that, you know, you've got to get, you've, you've got to get... When he was just, if he was a defenseless player, then fair enough, going for the 75% knockdown. But, mm. um, he was actually more protected, right? Yeah, Hello, he was trying to set that stream us. up there for me on Discord, private little one-to-one -one session. <laughs> right. Hello. The dirty rag, so. <laughs> Hello. <laughs> I'd miss a guard, but he did it, yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I mean, he can't pile on here, this is the thing, like, he's just got to push and then retreat back. Like, keep Gets it. his power, though. Jimmy, put the stream on so I can watch. Okay, I will do. Oh, he's cast him. Oh my god, this is this is typical El Dudorino so far. <laughs> he's made. <laughs> He's made two blocks with Claw Mighty and made two cards, and that one sticks, Apple fails. I think that was a bit oh, of a crazy no. Apple, because yeah. there was a good chance of it not working. Yeah, big um, time. It's 50-50, uh, isn't it? It either works or it doesn't. Yep. And, uh, yeah, it didn't work. Yep. I, I don't think you spend your Apple on a player that you've essentially put forward to get banged anyway, do you? No. Yeah. Getting a little over dramatic, I would say, <laughs> Yeah, maybe, I don't, but with a lot less than Rick, right? Rick had two full claw pommers. Um, El, Dude El Dude Reno only has a claw pom and a claw mighty. Uh, but he has leveled with that Kaz. So maybe he could go piling on instead of guard. <laughs> uh, Ducky, if you're playing a team where you don't have free shit as well, you're not opinion, playing a one of good the enough team in my commentators book. that I've ever heard in my life. <laughs> but yeah, of all the players on the team, I don't think he was... Because you want to be getting in there with your mighty blow, your pom yourself, your jump up, your tackle guy. And he's going down on his knees. So you want the apple for him, really, you know? Yeah. I mean, I would just want an apple on a, on a badly hurt because you've got to win. And I would want yeah. the apple to just definitely work on a player rather than just not work on a player. Was that an MNG he apple Yeah, I, th I think it was a perm. <laughs> I think it was a perm. Yeah. Um, so, like, it's fair enough, like, but... Horses for courses and all that, you know? It's, it's hard, because obviously you'd, you'd really want the Apple to work there. Like, that's why I like the Apple not being automatic is shit, right? If the, if the Apple just worked, then obviously you Apple that. But I hate that there's this, like, supposedly depth to it of, of it not always working, where really it's just bullshit, you know? Like, it doesn't really add, it doesn't really add anything to it, to it. It's just needlessly frustrating, which is, you know, pretty much standard for Blood Bowl, isn't it? You know, it's all about needless frustration. So, you know, in that way... Um, Cyanide have done great with Blood Bowl 3 because that is absolutely massively needlessly frustrating. So, yeah, well, well, well done on that. Job, guys. Here we go, he's going for the full man's base, which is to be expected. Yeah, yeah, just guard lock him. Yep. Um, of course, he can blitz somebody every turn with his core mighty, so 
it's not that effective. He cannot stop the two the two big woods with Claw Almighty and maybe Palming on. Okay. Is there a strategic reason for the GFI? Uh, you want to get more Guardian. A strategic reason for double stacking them? Yeah, because if you want to go there, you want to go there. Fair enough, yeah. I think it's fine stacking. I mean, I'm, I'm of the line that if you're making one rush, you should make two rushes. Fuck off with rushes. They're not rushes yet. <laughs> they're not They're not GFIs, two GFIs. They are GFIs right now. And uh, yes, I agree completely, Mr. Yemen Dan. Yeah, that's... It's crazy that this the clicking space. It doesn't Rift make any dad. sense on a doesn't make any sense on a controller either. What kind of game do you confirm with X instead of A? Like it's fucking crazy. Anyway, <laughs> anyway, who can even blitz here? Can he blitz anybody? Mister Throw. Maybe. Not really. Brutal, isn't it? Yep. Gonna see a lot of uh, clicking here. Trying to scout out the perfect bang. Yeah. Oh, uh, he looks like he's setting up on the line orc thingy, uh, wherever it is. It's not Mr. Throw, is it? Yeah, he's, he's gonna blitz Mr. Throw and then. Or, or, bl or block this. Yeah, no, but... He's gotta blitz Mr. Throw so that he can block the blitzer. It's okay to try. I love you too. But the thing is, the guy's got. Uh, dodge and you ain't doing them GFIs, are you? To do it with your actual killer. No, no, you just hit him with Claw Mighty. Because then at least you push him and then get the hit on the tackle pump. Afterwards, from this, this warrior. Because this warrior can't hit him right at the moment. Can't hit anyone at the moment. Oh, I guess you could you could Claw Mighty the him and then block him. Yeah, okay, so yeah, Claw Mighty the killer. And then you can block Mr. Thrall. Or in fact, then you could block the Black Orc, couldn't you? Yeah, okay. Okay, so Claw Mighty either is killer. And then block the Black Orc. Hmm. Mm. So maybe just kill her a bit more. That's why you can touch anybody this time. Next next time. Where's he going here? Yeah, that was that was wrong. To be fair, it's what I thought, but it was totally wrong. Like you've gotta hit the Because he's got the dodge, right? And you yeah, yeah, you've gotta kill it. you've gotta hit him. Yep. Would have been a knockdown. It would have been. Might have cast him. Yeah. PC obviously been coaching Duderino again on uh, proper use of claw, your killers, claw mighty, parting on tackle that sort of stuff. Yeah, yeah it's a shame there. Yeah, the Nurgle team is really shit. Yeah, all it has is the claw pump, and everything else is locked up and about to get slapped. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This is this is not yeah. good. But the claw pump can be enough to win the game, right? It really can be. So, if you're Singolo here, do you just hold the LOS firm, bang him, base him, bang him, base him, bang him, and you don't worry about putting too much pressure on the ball? Exactly. But are you yes. against a wizard? So. You just base him, make... bang. Hmm. Because it's protecting your players as well, isn't it? Like, by making it hard from like, this is just getting the odd 1D and stuff. By basing and banging, you're getting, you're getting several mighty blow hits back here. Yeah. It's just like. And they can't dodge away like Chaos can, can they? Exactly, and you just slowly... You can just slowly grind him down and, and eventually you'll get a shot at the ball or at least make it nil-nil at half-time. <laughs> Let's wait to see what the data says. Yeah, the data says they're in the quarter-finals, right? So, he's, you know, El Dudorino's done well. Right, yeah. And, you know, they certainly... Even one claw pump can win you any game. That games. is simply not true. The data does not support your a assertion. Claw mighty or just good dice. <laughs> but generally, one claw pommer is, is so effective. Please push back. <laughs> Thanks, Mr. Yemen. I don't know. I don't. I don't really want to. Nah, no, don't don't worry about it, Jim. Just use it as a bit of a banner thing. See so if you can make friends with Side Knight. Take it as a friendly, sort of jovial thing, rather than a personal attack you should be offended by. Oh no, I'm definitely Take taking it as, as a and, personal and attack. Then, I'm definitely taking know. it as a personal attack that I should be offended by, but I'm just not going to care. I don't know, man. Well, how else can you take it? Like, that's what it is. As <laughs> a Frenchman trying to do some banner, but he got it wrong. Nah. Okay. I mean, it wasn't. Or it shouldn't have no, been. Like... Either way, it's disgusting. Yes, it is, but... 
take it as a symbol of how important you are that they notice your opinion that it is the one that stands out to... <laughs> it's the one that stands out to ignore yes <laughs> no but to be mulled before being dismissed utterly <laughs> Thank with you. a roll of the eyes and an amused smile <laughs> they, didn't, they didn't look at my opinion before dismissing it utterly they just dismissed it utterly <laughs> oh, okay yeah. very true very true <laughs> You are at least at the level of contempt. The rest of us are beneath it. So, <laughs> yeah. you are not beneath contempt. There you are. There's a positive. Yeah, thanks. Thanks, PC. And <laughs> hello. Hello, hello. Oh, Blitz in the uh, scoring track there. <laughs> yeah, well, this is the ultimate conservative play, isn't it? Um, yeah. We saw it yesterday um, from Sindane. Bomb doesn't hit there, sadly. Oh. Here we go. Has he double stacked him and he really re rolled it again? He doesn't re roll it this time. Okay. And we've got some hits now. Yeah? Yeah? I'm not seeing it. You're speaking from Dudorino's perspective, right? Yeah, from Dudorino. Stand up the stand up the uh, the beast, right? It's mm -hmm. reliant on the beast. Beast, there you go. Blitz him, block him, claw him. Bob's your uncle. Let's see if that's what happens. You can make two cars this turn easily. <laughs> Certainly that should be the aim, um, you know, he's been quite open about the fact that we've been having some pre-game chats and what it consisted of this time was claw palm all men's, all the time. Same stuff it did last time. Yeah, well, except this time to actually do it, yeah. Yeah, this Look, time he won, he, he won he was, last time. He, he accidentally had a nice shot on the orc killer, but sort of went for the strength four. Lodge guy instead. Oh god, did he? God. Okay. Yeah, he did. It was, it was, it was quite the, uh, the chest turn would be blunder. Um, but. Well, I'm not crazy about that, obviously. But, you know, you can't coach the game for the. Just give them some good advice. Set them free, like little children, loose upon yeah. the waters of the world. <laughs> no, I don't like that. I much preferred getting the 2D on the, on the troll. Maybe he's just going to 1D the troll. Well, we did see him. He, he did. Toss a cheeky one day at the end of last turn, didn't he? Mm. Um, he needs his two cas here, and he's got zero of them. Yeah, I, I, I mean I, the nice thing about this, yeah. Sorry, I just want to sorry. I just I just want to say, Mr. Yamadem. The thing is, Mr. Yamadem, I just want to not care. Like my yeah. problem throughout the past of involved being involved in Blood Bowl and everything has been caring too much, and I've got to not care. So I'm going to try and not care. I think that's what I need to do is to not care about anything. It's it's much people are much happier if they don't care about anything, aren't they? Like it's it's only people who yeah. care about things that get pissed off and upset or whatever, so I'm just gonna try and not care. And yet people that care for nothing have a weakness of character that other people find unappealing. So you can't help what you love, my friend. Um I mean I, I there was some truth in what I said. I think it's interesting that they do, you know, register your opinion, but I don't think any of us have an opinion that's really gonna impact on how well they build the game. All we can do is talk about the bits that aren't right and hope the bits that are right they work on and they change their mind about some of the bad decisions. I don't think they will. Like you, I think some of the bad decisions are design-based. But what, 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 what Jimmy's, Jimmy's going for is proving he's the bigger Frenchman and surrendering <laughs> the first time of <laughs> conflict. Instant well. bloody surrender. Amusing as casual racism always is, I'm not sure it's the right answer here. Uh, except, of course, in jovial terms, when it's always the right answer. <laughs> um, so the Nurgle are, I mean, they've got the ball, they're hanging back, but yeah, I mean, the advantage with Singolo's team, uh, other than it, it just being awful in every way, is that it doesn't really matter. You can pick and choose your targets because they're all the damn same. You're not after any key piece or any particular worrying piece. It's all worrying. Yeah. So really, you can choose your shape based on where you want to blitz and on you know where you feel like hitting things. There's nothing you're particularly after. Mm. The utter lack of guard against a total wall of guard makes that's the reason why, despite trying to be on Eldude's side, I have gambled on Singolo winning this because I think he's going to. Um, but there's there's roots for the 
Nurgle to get this done on there. Yeah, I, I really didn't like in the way that I jump up block. I'd much prefer to have come this side for the assist. Like, if he didn't have a jump up, I would have really liked that because obviously that yeah. means dedicating his blitz to him and then the troll there. It's like, if, if he didn't have a jump up, I would have really liked that position. But he, he gets away with it. And yes, El, one of the things I very, very firmly stressed was you have two claw mighty blows. One of them needs to hit every single turn at least. Yeah. Um, yeah. But, you know, in-game positions, there's sometimes reasons why even the best rule you've got in your head has to not be that turn. Oh, was, but this isn't that position. Good. It's not okay. close to that position. <laughs> Fair enough, I take your point. That was just <laughs> yeah. not good. No, yeah, I mean, there were some, like, sort of fringe things when the always cage go out of window and all of these sorts of different things. You know, the, the rules that you learn as a blood bar beginner, yeah. um, they often go out of window. Yeah, and to some degree they need to. The Blitz follow... But, um, yes, but... Oh, he was laying down, wasn't he? Yeah. Okay. Opening up the left-hand side here. Obviously Nurgle being... Yeah, there is not so definitely what... It is open. What Jimmy would call a gaping hole. Yep. You can drop the beast in the middle to complicate things with the orcs and make them some of the bobs. One of the bobs stay there and do some hitting. And everything can sort of fly up the left a little bit. Yeah. yeah, that was a, that was a kind of a bad push direction, wasn't it, from uh, Singola there? Because it did give him the yeah, easy really assist to the beast. Otherwise, he'd have had to spend the player to assist. He might, he might. And all is all is not bleak here. I mean, I you know, I know I arrived a little late. I clearly missed the death of the wrestle lineman. <laughs> yeah, yeah, two LOS bangs. Yeah. And uh, you know, there's a miss next game on one of the. Uh, I'm not sure even their mother could tell those blitzers apart. <laughs> one of the many claw, one of the many mighty blow guard blitzers. Do you think he cycles them if they get a third skill? <laughs> well, I mean, this one was on the LOS, so I guess they, they're going to cycle themselves a bit. Here we go. So he is committing the ball. I mean, he's not fast enough to outrun the uh, Mister Mister Fro, really. <laughs> He'll be swinging into position. Mm. I mean, his T squares back, Mr. Fro can go to full triangle length. And, yeah. But here we are, this is finally a good blitz target. And it's sort of forced yes, upon him but, you know, on, on, on note that he's actually just one of the only players that's out there. He could have <laughs> on this time. He could He on. absolutely should. He should push that Black Hawk away. He should get a secondary hit. And he should free one as well as piling on. Doesn't need to. Doesn't need to. Gets the removal anyway. Didn't use Mighty Blow though. Should have done an instant pile. Oh, no, he did. He did. Yeah, he didn't. He didn't follow up, did he? To um, yeah. no, no, he couldn't have. They have the option of piling on. The thing is with the foul, like if you're right, who's going to foul on the York team? They're all very, very valuable, and is already permanently down two. He might have survived on the basis that a foul it, might. Yeah, not. no, I think it's you're not right. The foul, I, it's I, the cr it's crowding in with guard, isn't it? Is the problem? Yeah, it's the lack of movement, and it's the ability to just then get him guard locked. I mean, I know you hate this elf, and it's one of the reasons I do it. Here, the Nurgle have to be the elves to some degree. <laughs> oh, God, I don't hate that. That's what I think because funny. the orcs are the orcs. <laughs> I don't know. That's why I find that funny. Um, in that, because they've got no, they haven't got the guard wall, despite having a strength, obviously, near parity, um, they're the ones that need to be mobile. They're the ones that need a loose game where yeah. they can use their strength for blitzes from just about anybody. Um, to you know, to dominate, and you know, hope the hope the I got in trouble for calling it a stink last time. Hope the foul appearance works. Yeah, and I quite I quite like blocking with a the mighty blow there, because then that would have freed up the strength fight to move up the field a bit. Speaking of the Nurgle, have to be the elves. That would have been the kind of play I would have wanted yeah. to get. Them. Yeah, absolutely. Me too. And it, I mean, it uses your one guard to an advantage, doesn't it? Mm. As well as a mighty blow hit, which is now a one die. So yes, I, I fully think that was a a mistake. There is a chance if this works that you can recover a piece, but it's it's all pretty brutal. Yeah. And he, he can move up this this pestico and get a two D there. He can leave the backside open a bit. This guy doesn't need to be here at all, does he? He's either, you know, he's not doing anything here. This this backside is totally safe. So he doesn't, but he does like his over safe shapes. I mean, he absolutely should. He should move him up just beyond the mighty blow. Should move. Yeah. But the fact that he's uh, 87, uh, and the fact that he's the Rackle piece, uh, which will get strength 4 hits against the Mr. Throw, 
means I think El Dunarino plans to use him very carefully. Uh, keep him very safe and then use him as a safety on defense. So I don't think we'll see him advance, hence we don't. Um, we've got the two nine. The real safety blow. here is Saruman, there, isn't it? It's the wizard. The wizard up the sleeve. <laughs> well, there's a, it's a double safety, which is, is better than mm. one, because often they both fail. Yep. And in the midst of all that, thank you very much, Chunter, for the raid. Absolutely glorious. Hello. <laughs> Welcome to the most drama overly dramatic and uh, most ignorable <laughs> streamer of Blood Bowl. <laughs> Hello. Honestly, will you stop just having such a big hissy fit, you <laughs> drama queen? <laughs> Hello, Jimmy. Hello, everyone. Oh, you're really quiet, Chunter. Oh, oh am I? Yes. I, I myself. Oh, oh really? Quiet, quiet, quiet as a mouse. <laughs> what a glorious addition to the booth. We are approaching end of turn. Glorious. Right, how is it now? No, I won't oh, perfect. Give in That's a lot better. I'm victorious. Oh, I will defend. I will defend. So, what did I miss? What did I Breaking miss? news for Blood Bowl 3. Uh -huh. Well, El Dudorino is back and uh, three orcs out in total now. Jimmy one Fantastic. dead. A wrestle line trash. Order now and get yourself the and next game for one of the exchangeable blitzers. Love sign uh, KEKW. -E uh, and more recently, uh, another interchangeable blitzer, but this time with very, tackle on top. Very, very uh, much not a fan KO. of not getting Mr. Fro back. Oh, yeah, I see. Yeah, he's, he's, it's definitely, I think, in a good position here, and just just moving down the left flank. That's awesome. Yeah, for some well, reason, the Orcs uh, did seem, when I joined oh, about three turns ago, I think it was turn two or early three, um, the Orcs seemed to be reasonably in control of where the Nurgle were going, but they kind of slightly overhit for a turn and ceded control of this flank. Well, which yeah, I've been here, you need Mr. Throwback, blitz him free and get him back, but now you've only got a Black Orc and it's a full sideline, nice sideline, oh, safe sideline good. cage if I've ever seen one before. <laughs> But yeah, there you uh, go. This this wrestle this rackler, as we said, was exposed, does get pommed, and he's cast. Oof. Yeah. Regen, well. Oh. Regen. Yeah, that makes a regen. Yeah, fair like it is. Yeah, but I mean, I did warn you that that was the, the low AV. Putting him out there as a target. Whew, wonder where he learned that sort of thing. Oh, I'll read it <laughs> out yeah. for your fault for. Sorry. Yeah. Uh, shouldn't have been. Breaking news removed. for Blood Bowl Three. The Nurgle's Warrior model will be based off Jimmy Fantastic. Order now <laughs> and get yourself the limited edition hairline bundle. <laughs> Thanks, Colt Force, for staying fantastic. We're five and a half uh, people pregnancies. Uh, Absolutely uh, glorious. You want to drop the oar, yeah? So, so, so there's space here to get. If he's ballsy enough to use the beast early, which I think he is, there's space yeah. here to drop it. Oh, no, okay, he's using the strength five. I'd have freed the strength five again there, Jim by uh, risking the beast as an early block. Well, I mean, You're in a fairly uh, safe position if it goes wrong, and all you need is a push, and that would have freed the strength five, and then everything could have poured up this left flank. But the beast is coming instead, which at least can keep an eye on that claw pommer. Yeah, that's a lovely square. Yeah, that really is. Yeah, this looks nice. And yeah, so, sorry if I'm... Oh, yeah. Sorry, sorry if I'm a bit later, by the way. I was just messing around with, uh, with humans a little bit. Like, I, I have this... This new build where I play with four catchers and uh, the thrower and the four blitzers, so I'm just messing around with that and try to play them like Skaven Ooh. as much as possible. <laughs> Full on greaves the bob, trying to claw pom it and drop it onto the uh, beast at the same time. Still got space to get up this flank behind this uh, assault though, isn't he? Yep. We have another addition to the booth, Fault Force is here. <laughs> oh god. Yeah, I was already smelling ham here, so... Uh... <laughs> I'm I'm here to give some uh, some critical analysis occasionally when equity shifts, and apart from that, not talk too much because I'm eating. Okay. Uh, yeah, equity. Well. E equity hasn't shifted at the moment. Equity's looking fairly neutral since we you know since the last turn. It's okay. I'll leave help. it to it. Keep your eye on the prize, Elk. <laughs> you can resist this, Elk. Come on. Your comms has actually been sort of all right. Keep it up. <laughs> Stay strong. I, mean, I believe in you, you, Elk. You, you, I believe you. in you. You channel it to fill a gaping void. <laughs> Stay strong, help! I can feel it going. So can you. Yeah, Resist. I don't, know. I don't know. It doesn't have to be help. It's a choice. 
I'm sorry, but equity is shifting is never a choice. Oh. <laughs> it's a way of mind. Of the equity. <laughs> this wing of pigeon and elk turned up. Yeah, that's brilliant. <laughs> so basically, uh, Singolo is just dead in the water here, right? For this, this drive. Like, you just, you just finish this drive, and then you just try to make the best out of it in the second half, I guess, and just go for overtime. Yeah, it's it's been weird, right? Because he has had all the advantages with the guard, but he hasn't really used them well, has he? And he's ended up being, like, not, you know, not utilizing the guard to, to, to shut down El Dude. Yeah, I mean, this is, uh, it's weird. Absolutely. It's exactly as El Dude would have wanted this to go for his offense. Chip a couple of pieces early, use that to ensure you don't end up in a big scrum, because there the guard wall is going to be at max advantage. Try and keep the the play loose and more and more like a ruck than a maul. Yeah, I mean, I, I played against him when he was playing his his guard dwarves, right? Like this is his min max dwarves last season or the season before that or the season even before though. that. Yeah, 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 yeah. And um, I think that was the semi final, and he was positionally it, it it didn't always look tight enough as well. So maybe maybe that's the trouble this game as well. And like yeah, you have some coaches that can definitely if they have the team for it, they can definitely punish it. And if, if he's if, if his formation isn't tight enough, yeah, he's just gonna get hammered, isn't he? Yeah. Yeah, I mean I, you're not wrong and one shouldn't of course characterize an entire nation, but I'm just going to. That's the obvious preface to be doing that. Um, there is a certain Russian style that is a lot looser, is a lot more free form, very, very aggressive. Uh, and this challenge in particular, we're seeing it do extremely well. Agreed this. Speaking of very yeah. aggressive. <laughs> uh, oh, I wouldn't have done the re-roll there. No. Neither would I, but I knew it was coming. Yeah, me too. If, you had, if you've got I mean, claw pom, fair enough, right? Because you, you, the flip, you've, flip side of that plus, is, you've got yeah. claw without claw. It's it, you know it's a seventy-five percent shot, but you're probably not going to hurt yeah. him. Like that's the problem. Yeah. True. No, I mean AV nine and regen. It's it's difficult to see you getting up on numbers here. At 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 the at the same time, I don't see where he's going to be able to use his uh, the rest of his rules optimally in in any other of the turns. Like it's going to be really difficult to get some good hits off. True. On, True. Uh, mm. on players, but you know, people might give you a chance, right? That's the that's the way Cruz tends to tends to play things. Just hope hope you get a chance somehow. Yeah. And, uh, you know, maybe a nice bang on this killer here, though, hasn't he? Don't know. Don't know if you go for the killer. Maybe just uh, maybe just hit the claw mighty, uh, the, like the mighty guard, tackle mighty guard guy. Just blitz him, and then you've got three players up to protect instead of. Well, I'd do some yes, movement I, I, I before could... completely doing it because you've got the rotter there. You can change some shit away by hit, taking that hit. So you can push that black orc back and down as uh, along with the strength guy, the blood strength. I, I would be fairly tempted to just try to destroy the missile throw here. Like just try to get a get a position on him where you can actually two die him with the tackler, with Claude. Claw tackle here. Like, that seems really Interesting strong. Interesting priorities, isn't it? I would be doing what Jimmy said and freeing as many pieces as possible and totally securing my ball head uh, before then trying to, yeah, if I possibly can, work a hit on Mr. Throw. Yeah, yeah, I mean, yeah. Two, two turns is a long time, especially to stall against against Hawks that are that far up. Like, it, he, he needs to defend the ball. He needs to not pull a space get out here. Is what he needs to do. <laughs> no, I mean, I think with that stun, we're pretty safe. The yeah, beast is tying a lot of those people up. There's only one yeah. blitzer and missed to throw. I've got any pace on them at all. But he does need at least two back. Of course he does. Now he could go for the claw pom. Yeah, he could go for the claw pom and the killer now. Yeah, I nice. really think he should. I think the killer is the, the target here. There's some nice chains yeah, on that too. It's not the target. It's not the target. Go on, re-roll. We've got, got, got to re-roll that. Does. Yeah. Oh, with two oh. rerolls on board. Yeah, two rerolls on board. I think anything that needs a reroll. No, these things may have been discussed. That, that should have been a reroll. That was mm. a key. And it should have been. You should have hit the what? killer. What if he runs into skulls yes, there? Though? Both of those things. What if he After runs into the skulls there? That's, yeah, like if he rolls, rolls skulls after the reroll, like that's the well, second it's it it one. Oh, sure, sure. Sure. No, it doesn't. Yes, it isn't. Sure. Like one square away. Nobody, she nobody happens. ever rerolls in the skulls. That doesn't happen. Have you not yeah, seen anybody it's... use pro ever? <laughs> <laughs> the only time you reroll in the skulls is if you start with skulls to begin with. 
at which point any reroll is pointless. No, look, of course there's a chance it rerolls into skulls, but it's about yeah, do you take that small chance for the greater game? Which yeah, is already having removed one of the one of the blitz mach machines. If you can remove one of the black orc parts of the machine, then the machine does start to look a little rickety. However, as it is, they are very likely uh, to be back up to eleven orcs uh, with very little missing from how they ideally drive. Yeah, second true. half, and that could mean a, a sort of brutal drive back in the opposite direction. So many people forget it is a game of three halves when it comes to the chalice format. Oh, you got overtime and kicks, don't you? Yes, you do. Team, man, I appreciate that. Randomizing the equity. Yeah. Yeah. What do you think about the equity now, Fault Force? Oh, look at this. I mean, a massive orc swing. I mean, that stun is a massive equity <laughs> shift, especially in the last couple of turns. It means he's not going to be able to get that up to defend the ball or keep any of these players locked down. That was big equity swinging right there. <laughs> Whoa. Force is definitely feeling some massive equity out of that one. See, this is why. Yeah. Maybe he should have kept the reroll, right? Because now, if he kept the reroll, I mean, he's going to reroll this dodge anyway, but he's got a, he's got a tackle pom hit, well, like a pom hit on the killer, hasn't he? On a dog. Well, what does it matter? Off, he can't spend more than one reroll a turn, so he might as well have used it. Yes, but he might want to reroll on the last two, on, the, on the next turn as well, and he, now he's not going to. He has to reroll this. He just has to. He does. Yeah. Oh, yeah. get diced here. He does, but he doesn't. Well, similarly, I don't quite understand why we didn't hit the killer, given two. Okay, so, 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 so now you attack the target's one of greater value. That's the one you hit, isn't it? Well, don't you? Well, like, I, I really want to get Mr. Fro out before like the orcs start their drive. That would be fantastic. Like if if you can do that. Yeah, like, that absolutely would. Yeah. Oh, I don't I don't care about him now. I mean, it's hard to hit him, isn't it? It's hard to hit yeah. him. Yeah. I don't it's, care it's, about it's, him. It's it's well, it's it's why we've got the whiz. And remember, we've also got the rackle piece with low armor to use as an emergency safety. So we do have two answers to him. Um, really, the way you beat this orc team isn't. I mean. Yes, there is the killer and Mr. Throw. Those are sort of higher priority targets. You just need to thin the herd. I mean, everywhere you look, this team is brutal. Yeah, I guess so. Maybe. So, so solid. And it's got all the things that L Dude doesn't. It's got lots and lots of block, lots and lots of guard. So stability and safety. Probably the most direct option is the right option, I guess. Yeah, just just keep keep hitting away and, uh, and get in there. I quite, I quite like trying to foul this guy, but then it's it's pretty hard to hit him because if you if you hit him like you know, you've got to you've got to just put in two guys to block him. I quite like blitzing him and then running away, but if you put in two guys and just block this one, then yeah, you could blitz him. It's just hard. It's hard to hit him. Like it's I don't know. I don't know how he tries hitting him. Oh, blitz the black hawk. Yeah, then block him. Yeah, I'll, you know, cause it's still just a one D. Horrible, isn't it? I want to foul. I want to foul the jump up. Though, is what I would have wanted. Is he piling? Of course yeah, you can. Now. Oh, wait, Again, this is a definite pile on. Sure. Yeah, one hundred percent. Yeah. There we it. go. It's nothing near the ball, so you can just freely, freely do this. It's well, it's it might not between some orcs and the ball, but yes, I take your point. There isn't. There, there just isn't the time or the space. But you're going to get two shots in this chaos, aren't they? Babe aside. Yeah, yeah. I mean, has he got any babes? That so. said, he does have to deal with the jump up because the jump up is still in range, isn't it? Yep. So yeah, he can't foul his guy's done. That pile on has cost him a little part of that screen, which at the moment he's not answering. I mean, all right, the orcs have no reroll. Ooh. And it is a three-four-three-two-two two to get yeah. one die, but you know, could happen. Yeah, it could, couldn't it? Well, this is the Sometimes thing. You and I would, gonna play. would have mitigated that safety risk, whereas I, I feel the Russian style is just not to, to say, all right, you want to roll a 2% shot? Yeah. Oh, Sometimes you've cool. got to play like Artemis. Sometimes you've got to play like Space Cadet. He scored a 2% <laughs> against me earlier. I was very annoyed. Just disregard that ball, start smacking stuff down, and hopefully it works out. Yeah. And other times you play COD. <laughs> Good point. <laughs> And eat wontons for some weird god nance reason. <laughs> wontons, it depends who makes them. They can be okay. It, it covers a variety of sins, the wonton. Actually, K Fog's the only person here who hasn't answered. Okay, Fog, fucking Chanta. Chanta, do you like fucking um, 
Do you like wontons? Wontons? Wontons. Like the, like the, are, are those this, this, the, what, what are those, those things actually? You know what they are, Jenna. They're, they're, they are the Star Wars, like aren't, aren't they the Star Wars? Aren't, aren't they the Star Wars things, the animals? Or, 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 or is that another thing? <laughs> it's a ton ton. <laughs> <laughs> Probably. <laughs> what are one like, like, Tell me. Crispy little... Crispy little purses for Chinese restaurant. Fucking hell, man! So, a genuine injury that actually stays. <laughs> Finally got himself a nice little rotter. Yeah, he's but that's... that's one of those he's not... He's not getting any value out of that that injury, right? Like that's exactly. just there's, there's, a, there's a bench of two. It's I mean it's not the biggest bench, but it's enough probably with the regen. Yeah. Well, you got the so regen on the warrior as well, which is nice. Yeah. Yeah. He's still, got, he's still got one. Um, two big regens. Yeah. I'm, I'm. I'm gonna. I'm. I'm gonna Google what it is now. Like I gotta do some research. Horrible to be honest. It's like a small crispy clut or... of pastry containing mince meat and or vegetables deep fried from a Chinese restaurant. Yeah, but it, like, it burns oh, your throat. Oh, yeah, yeah, of, of it course. It burns your throat as it goes down and like the top of your mouth gets well, like cut the up less by hot. the... <laughs> Wait until it oh. is temperate and not too hot. What kind of person do you think I am? I don't have self-control. A greedy, lack of self-control person, I would imagine. Yeah. 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 That's why I gave you that advice. That's what you want from me. Yeah! Oh, oh. No, 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 I, I, I've had them. I thought my I've reading there was pretty accurate. <laughs> I, right, so another KO on another key orc there. He really needs these uh, these sets of KO rolls to sort him out. It's all back of the orcs are full for the second half. Any other miss, and they're not. Yeah, it's interesting, isn't it, whether to go for the Black Oak or the Blitz. They might both have got pros and cons, haven't they? If they take out more strength, they take out the more mobile players, as you're trying to stop them. Wow, pretty brutal for the orcs. One of three. Yep. Yeah, they'll have another chance though. They get, though. they get another chance, yeah. Yeah, but now it's a one in four shot to be full for the second half. Right. For those of us, for those of us who are blood bowl shitters, can the orcs do a one turn here with this Mister Throw? No. no, it hasn't got any move up, right? No, so it's not possible. It's a move six and no frenzy. It's not possible it's to one turn. I mean, what is your, what's your actual deal? With, what's your actual with problem a, with, with a one quick thumb? snap? If you had a team of eleven. If they set up really badly, I think it's still impossible. Yeah, yeah. He's only got nine players. Uh, there's, there's, there's more chance of a one ton than a one turn. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but I've had them before. Really nice one. They're terrible, Chanto. I don't know how you can eat them. They're terrible. I don't know how you can eat them. I'm Why? sorry. I'm they just, they, oh, they, 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 they agree they, with they, fours, oh. but... <laughs> they scrape and top. They, they scrape and like, like tear at the top of your mouth. And the filling Again, is like molten I, lava, like sliding down your fucking I think you need to try road. eating at a different Chinese restaurant. <laughs> one that does <laughs> good. I've sampled many. <laughs> this isn't a one minute 30 start time. It so. doesn't require frenzy, actually, Adbak. You can do move six with 11 players without frenzy. If your opponent Ooh. sets up terribly. Like, it, it's lovely. You yeah. usually get a bit of a dish of, uh, of sweet sour sauce with it as well. So you just dip them in sweet sour oh, you're sauce. You're so Western. You? You're so Western, man. <laughs> Sweet and sour sauce for well. fucking Chinese. Yeah. Sure. I'm super Western. <laughs> that is the most Western thing I've ever heard. Well, that's the whole thing with all Chinese in Holland. Like, if you get Chinese in Holland, they also they they, they just go for quantity above quality, you know. Like, yeah. so they, so you get you get just a big bunch of shit basically, and that's that's what you that's what you eat for dinner. That's what, so that's like, what you uh, get in England as well, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I hear ya. <laughs> Might get killing himself a little rotter here. He's been looking, after, looking out for those ones, hasn't he? Doesn't mean he might if he removes one rotter at this point. And El Dudorino's definitely looking to win this in normal time, isn't he? Um, there's yeah. a good chance of the Orcs not starting with 11 players. And there's also a good chance of getting claw mighty removals. And a good chance of the wizard being devastating to the slow dwarfs. I, I agree, J5. I agree. <clears throat> um. Did I say dwarves? I mean orcs. Did you just say dwarves, but. I'm sorry. I mean, don't want to. Don't, yeah, I mean, you, you, you receive an attack earlier in the day. We don't want to all jump on you. P PC's fault for being in the booth just made me think dwarves. <laughs> 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 he is, of course, a dwarf man. <laughs> Yes. <laughs> oh. 
As ha that one in Game of Thrones says to Jon Snow, it is known. <laughs> oh, you know, we are all teeny tiny, hard nosed blood bowl people. <laughs> I was going to say, he almost fucked himself out of an extra MB hit there, didn't he? But... Yeah, I didn't like the 2D either. I could have easily been a 3D spot. Didn't go for the 3DB from the pond. <laughs> As Artemis would say, what an absolute shitter. I bet he fouls a rotter. This is this is not Russian blood bowl, this is lazy blood bowl. Oh, still got an injury, look at that. Yeah, but it's a, it's a shitter, isn't it? Yeah, he, just, he can't foul down on nine players because he could be on nine for the second half, couldn't he? He's, he is not, on he's up to 11, <laughs> look at dog. Look at dog with those kill rolls. Man, that's bullshit, that is. So I'll do is down to 11 maps for the rest of the match, as is Singolo. Ooh, it's interesting though, isn't it? It's interesting. Yeah. Like, I, I, I don't know why we are complaining. This is this is actually quite interesting to uh, to see the rest of the game in. Like, if, if those KOs say it out, it's pretty pretty much game, isn't it? Like, close to game. Oh, I'm not, I'm not complaining. I was just saying he was a looker dog, which he was, wasn't he? <laughs> <laughs> and that was pretty Very lucky. Like, that, that could have easily been non-comeback, and he's totally fucked. So, I'm gonna call. Indeed been restored. I'm gonna call the wizard. Wizard fizzles. I'm just gonna call that here and now. Fizzle. Just got a feeling. Just got a feeling. Fizzle. Just got a big feeling. <laughs> do you do you carry on anything? It was last week, weren't it? Full force. Do you, do you carry on anything else but Mister Pro? By the way, due to the wizard, like you might actually carry it on alignment. You could carry it on the boat, bitch. Yep. Pox up here. Uh, Upside down L pox app could be the, could be the boat bitch. <laughs> yeah, very competitive indeed. You, you were trying to pronounce the 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 the, the Lyman's name. He, his name is Joe. Like you got you got to understand Russian here. <laughs> All right. <laughs> Imagine speaking Russian. God. Some kind of commie. <laughs> oh, <laughs> Just for the American audience, I know we've got them out in force today. What make them feel at home? <laughs> Firing off an AR-15 into the sky while balls deep into a squealing hog. Oh, the Americans love it. Oh, it's the American way. We're oh, dead, and win, boy. Full force and help are taking over. I think maybe we should get them out of the commentary box. We're just waiting for the blood ball to what start. Look think? how long it's taken him to set. Look how long it's taken yeah, him to set up. Been stuck in I, 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 would, I would love to see like Elp and, and Fault Force just uh, going solo for a for a game. Just commentate like just the two of them, you know. And... We'd put everybody out of a fucking job. <laughs> <laughs> Plus, the game wouldn't even get commentated. Oh, that's the right. Uh, that is important. It is important. We're definitely going to see upside down L Poxap carrying the ball now. No, we're not. He's already moved him. Well, shows an enemy. Disregard that. Yeah, Joe's just cleaning off there, I guess. <laughs> so. Where's, I guess he's where's, where's gonna... PC gone. <laughs> I think he's tapped out due to the commentary. Yeah, yeah it's probably. Speaking to one of his family members. Yeah, maybe. He is the boss. Should that have been a blitz to get the uh, orc out in front? Maybe, but he's not doing it. Come for some one. So he's not. He's got. No, he's, is he just going to double GFI? Is it a double GFI to reach? I didn't. I just one. You know, that's just me here. But I, I really didn't like pushing. Pushing that Nurgle warrior into this, uh, in, into the guards that just foul appearance for another hit. Like you could use that guard to just move over here and, and stay in front of the ball, right? You just, yeah. you just. Yeah, I would have definitely try to free somebody up there rather than max blocks. Absolutely. Yeah. He has an easy sack on a ball if he wants to spunk the wizard. You might want to spunk the wizard. Yeah. Yeah, you might want to do it already. I called it as like... a fizzle, so you probably don't. Oh baby, troll blitz, let's go. Both down on no balls. Nothing Balls confirmed. Yeah, big guy and big guy action there. You'd love to see it. <laughs> yeah, Charles, that is what happened the last time Elf and Fall Force run comes. 
<laughs> oh man, I think I think that's weight. Like I, he should have pulled it in there. Like I feel yeah, like yeah, you have a free such fucking a good... slap on the ball, don't you? Yeah, there could have been no, a just... blitzer here. You be my wingman anytime. Yeah, you just pulled the ball carrier and then you just you just hit uh, hit Joe to the side and then you just move move in there. Yeah, that's that's the thing you got to do. And and then like this all because Singolo just 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 does the classic thing of just two die everything, you know. Or you or you could have blitzed this guy right and chained and stuff, but um. He is blitzing Joe, as you call him. Thank you very much, Elliot, for the massive raid. Absolutely glorious. Welcome, welcome Elliot and Elliot viewers. The rowdy leprechauns. <laughs> you can't run him to safety. Right, you can't run him to safety. If you dedicate anybody protecting him, you're leaving a gaping hole in the middle. Maybe that wasn't the blitz target. Maybe you just move up a touch and hit the... You get uh, the one assist on the on the black orc, and you slap him, and then you stay central. I didn't hate that as a blitz target. It's just like, you're missing your your your, your, man, your chance to have a huge momentum shift there. Oh, yeah, the wizard should have been gone, but that, that being a non-option for us. I think there you hit that black orc, and you yeah. sort of stay central rather than... This. Yeah, maybe. I mean, he's probably just saving the wizard to bolt it at the end. I mean, it's an all right thing to do, isn't it? But you, you could know. have also done like the other option is like you 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 hit the black orc as you say, and but you first move another player right to the black orc, so you chain push um, the the tackler out on a pow, and then you can move forward there. That's also yeah. really intimidating. Yeah, you could I also like do that. that. Yeah, like I'll, that's what I liked. I mean, if if you go for the bolt, you know, like if you go for it. Um. Uh, yeah, Ducky, not not feeling that fresh, but you know, hopefully, hopefully, will be good enough to be carried by Troy. <laughs> yeah, Kadenik falling asleep <laughs> and Rick leaving me with <laughs> with the viewers was pretty funny. <laughs> All is based. It's cheap. <laughs> Yeah, that I is just want to get a drink because you know. How, how do you get? How do, how do you fall asleep? How do you how do you fall asleep if everyone is playing one minute turns? Like it's it's quite a, it's quite an interesting thing. Like it does. Well, when you any... you know, I'm you drive, don't you? You've driven a car. You're gunning it along. I mean, it's very hard to get up to 100 in Holland, isn't it? You know with how small it is. You know, no shade, but you know, I've driven there. It's, it's quite a small place. But you know, when you go in 100. And then all of a sudden you're expected to go, say, 70. I'm talking miles now, so add on about 50 for kilometers now. Feels like you're going walking pace. And that's the thing with Gdanik, he lives in one minute turns. So to him, it's just normal time. <laughs> Fair enough, I guess. <laughs> it do be like that. Well, I think this is the Orcs offense. Yep, block another out carrier so he can bang out the claw pommer like that. It is a bit risky, obviously, but balls, the ball security is a bit compromised, but who cares if you bang out this claw pommer? Uh, there's a lot of good at match equity in banging out the claw pommer. Do you rip that black orc over first? I think you do. Well, you might GFI think... with him. It is one of, the, um, one of the tassets of the Russian school of blood bowl that does confuse me. Is sort of affecting the ball uh, is very much a sort of yeah yeah this is this around. is terrible <laughs> like I like what I would do here is just two D the text here and right. just just dodge through and laugh if you hold a pal <laughs> like this yes, is but then this. you have things capable of dodging through and rolling pals which yeah. no gold send and to lack no 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 you just you just you just you just send this now now it's now it's covered this is better because now. He can't really, he can't really dodge through on the back line. Like as soon as you, as you hit the 2D on there on the tackler and you roll that pow, and it's on the ground where the black orc was, you can just dodge oh, through with the plus really? with the with the two-headed guy right on the two plus. Yeah, yeah. It's not that hard. I mean, it's still then needing a, a six on a single dice, but it's you know, it's a it's a shot. Well, you'd bolt, well. you'd bolt, you'd bolt first if you're doing that. Yeah. Yeah, bolt, grab, run, punt. And then trust yourself to win the race. I think I think just chipping, nibbling at the edges here is fine, isn't it? You can stand, you can stand up as as warrior, and get a two D there, then get a two D there, then get a two D there. Yeah, I mean absolutely, Jim. It's you know, 
you don't have to win it in the second half. I mean, you can, and certainly the Nurgle are probably the only ones in a position to do that right now, unless we see a massive... Right. <sighs> a massive what? A massive what, PC? Go on. <laughs> Shift in equity. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I think there's a lot but, to be said uh, for playing this like like Sindane played against against uh, Cruz. Just play totally, totally safe. Keep that yep. two heads guy back, and then eventually, mm -hmm. when Singolo does make a break for it, you've got the bolt and the you know and complete recovery. So yeah, I, I, yep. I, I don't hate this at all. Yeah, nope. he can play this. He, he can play this patiently because, like, I do feel like he's going to get a good opportunity here. Like, it does feel like Singolo is positionally trying to patch up things where things are open. So, like, he's definitely going to have situations where the dice are going to work less out for him. Like, he feels a GFR or something, and suddenly he has a, he has a bit of an open area where you can just bolt in. So, yeah, yeah he I, should. I mean, play. I don't think there is a chance, despite the uh, the foul appearance. I don't think we can stop a wall of strong, guarded-up orcs rolling slowly forwards. You can arrest it slightly. I mean, the beast can get in the way, the stink can get in the way, but they're going to come turns. forwards. I mean, so the I beast is going. Yeah, he's he's going. Going. Yeah, he's he's yeah, it's just chip, chip a piece, wall them up, slow them as much yep. as possible, and then if they do need to potato in the last couple of turns, there comes an opportunity. And even if they don't, as long as you've chipped an orc or two, then the, the work of this half is probably done. Mm. Yeah, but I mean the pressure is all on the orcs right now. That's for sure. You know, Nurgle don't have to take steps backwards. They're not elves. They can go toe to toe. Guard just it's... isn't having the impact that we all probably assumed it would, is it? Yeah, he should. That's, that's the thing. I don't he think you can move the beast over either, because otherwise they're just going to shift around to the right, aren't they? I think the beast is doing so fine there. It's that. holding a bomb and the troll. He's he's doing the right thing. He's 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 yeah. going for the uh, the far left flank here, trying to keep it under control because like that jumper player could have a big impact in the next turn. Um, I just don't see it ending well for the orcs here. I, I don't like this. I'd have liked to have got this guy and this with him. Blitz the black orc with the killer. Um, because now if you stand this yeah. guy up, you run the risk of getting served, and he has to. I would have liked the blitz on the black orc a little bit more. Yeah, to be fair. but mm. it is it is a cover on the left flank regardless. I'm I'm with you, Jim. To be honest, I didn't like it standing up there. I think that says surf me. He does have this block though. So. Oh, but it's still he can still get surf ranks to jump up. That's the problem. Yeah, anywhere he puts himself is is a surfable place probably. But if you follow this in, well, if you, f no, no, this is, yeah, this is indeed like, this is just a surf player, basically. Yeah, I mean, it's, it, you couldn't design a better please surf me situation, could you? <laughs> not really, no. All right, it's not class one, but it's probably class two. <laughs> Can't surf if they fail FA. Yeah, maybe that's the idea, you know, like make him go for it. So Soars up by another turn, right? It is. I mean, I have to say, here you are, get your bingo cards ready. When I play dwarves and other races, uh, <laughs> sometimes I do allow a surf. Um, if it's a piece I think can take the hit from the crowd, uh, if I think it's going to delay them, if they're going to put enough resources into that, that it slows the advance. I mean, if he does want to do this surf, it's going to take at least three of those orbs. And then, is he going to have enough to get any pressure forwards? So you might get the beautiful surf in, but you could see it completely destroy your position at the same time. And, and he's got a momentum. He's got a he's got to worry about El Dudirino slowly coming in from the right flank as well, right? Yeah. Like from the middle, actually, like just from yeah. the middle. Yeah, the middle is the overpowerable spot, definitely. So I don't know. I, th yeah, I think shaky. seeing as all you guys are down here. He probably would have started oh. with a jump up block. Maybe oh, huge. Oh, yeah. Yeah, there we are. Should have gone for the surf, so really. It's, yeah, he it's not going to be a surf. He is he's going, going for the surf. jump up. Yeah. Oh, uh, jump up, surf. Oh, he's got jump up, yeah. Stuff. And then the free hit on the rest of it. Well, jump up could have failed. He had no reroll, did he? Yeah, could've that's what done. I'm saying. That's what I'm saying, but. Yeah. yeah, it was a 2 plus to make it happen and a 2 plus to avoid the smell. But look, we've made no progress except removing that chaos, that Nurgle warrior. So we've not headed forwards at all. 
Yeah. The problem was that he had he had these two guys to stand up anyway. Well, three guys had to stand yeah. up anyway, so it wasn't that big a, a cost really because he wasn't going to be doing much anyway, basically. What is he going to do about this know. rotter? I'm trying to see an upside. I yeah. was going to say, yeah. Yeah, he's just left this rotter here. Uh, yeah, I think that's terrible. Well, He's, yeah. he's strength four blodge. I think he's gonna not worry about that rotter. Is what yeah, he's but you just mark. You just mark the bow. Ah, the the fireball. No, you fireball your own boy, don't you? If you do it. it. No, but you just mark. You just mark the bow carrier with the rotter, and and he's he's forced to do something about well, it I mean, or you, dart you, out. You genuinely could lightning it. Rotters are AG three. Pick it up. I and go and for throw the five. It. I go for the five-person fireball here. To be honest, I, I go full greed. Yeah, I don't. I don't hate Honestly, it. Honestly, like, that's, that's like terrible, he's terrible, in control terrible anyway. it's wrong it. thing to do. It's but like, yeah, the ball hurt you drive too much. Really? Because the thing is, if you you get the fireball here, you win the game. Like, if 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 all those go down, or at least the the Blackhawk <laughs> does, you've just <laughs> won the game left. there and then. Yeah. If all no, five I, go down, you do realize that's that's somewhat of a long shot. I, I agree with BC here. Like, if you if you use the research, you use a use a bolt here and just bunt it. But yeah, you I don't know. If carrier, you, actually... you pick it up with the rotter and you pumped. Yeah, I, yeah. I, gen um, I genuinely don't hate the five man fireball. As Wolfbag says, it is just to gain momentum. It's 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 probably not worth it. Yeah. but it's not. It's a it's moment, not the it worst is, thing it's, ever. It's not. It's just a rest of momentum. Up all of your black. boys are standing. You can clear up and you can elf column. And that's yeah, just no, I, don't, I, don't, I don't hate just it. Weirdly, but I think the bolt's better. He's thinking about the fireball. I think it's one or the other this turn. I think both are reasonable plans. Got a fireball here. Which your predictions in there? You've, you've lost with the beast going stunned. You've lost control of that right flank. So if the orcs can switch flank, they've actually got a chance of going through that naked rot. They can't. They've got to go through the right rotter. Flank. Ch Chad, what, yeah, what do you what do you think fine. will happen here? Like, uh, I think will we should bolt Mister Throw? But if, if they bolt, bolt Miss, if he bolts Mister Throw, right, and it scatters in any of the top three squares, that's a problem, yep. right? If it scatters yeah. in any of the other squares, that's okay. Also, you got the fact that you've got to pick up with the rotter and then yeah. throw with the rotter. I mean, yeah. by the time like, I'm, I'm, I'm no blood ball expert, right? I don't pretend <laughs> to be. But by the time you add all those little fucking little shitty bits up, it's is it not yes. just better to fireball like and potentially <laughs> knock down a few? Like, <laughs> you know, I wouldn't hate it nothing. genuinely. I genuinely wouldn't hate the fireball because if, if you got like a lucky fireball and knock down like a couple of guys, you can you can block this guy out. And then yeah. you could maybe uh, get your, your get your killer on and get a hit on the hit on the throw with this uh, rotter assist, and you know yeah. it, the fireball it was, wasn't, wasn't terrible because it's five nice targets. It really arrests the push up this flank, which otherwise is a little weak still. There's now a lot of orcs and not many uh, Nurgle in front of it. Because what I would have done is I would have fireballed and then I would have patched up that left hand side there. Now, I quite liked the cheeky yeah. one die followed by surf there. Mm. Just Can he one day into so? uh, and no, the if it, if it's done the one die with his wrestler first, then on a three plus oh. he could have uh, blitz surfed the lineman and got the numbers back. Yeah, which I did, think did, is stronger. And even if did, it wrestles and gets him down, that's probably still a good thing. That's so didn't, gaped. didn't like the pylon there, but um, even, yeah. the mark. Even, it's yeah, terrible. I didn't like the blitz because you because you're stuck on the you're stuck on the lineman, aren't you? So you've basically yeah. got the pylon if you make that blitz. Yep. This this side I, is gate. This is it. Oh, this is it. Oh, oh, that's GG. That's, 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 that's well, like, I would not. He needs to get himself back win, together. That was uh, that was a poor turn of bad decisions. Well, the good thing for uh, El Duderino is that the the ball is based, so he doesn't. You know, yeah. if the ball wasn't based, there would be a blitz on this right and, and everything. He's going to blitz anyway. Three plus dodges don't fail, man. So Whereas good. now he's he's probably got to blitz this right and just go to midfield oh, behind all of this. He doesn't have the Yeah, turns. normally I wouldn't hate the one in nine if it's going to completely turn the game around, which this would. Um, but the problem with it here is that you know, the uh, the one in nine is off <laughs> onto the sideline. So if you fail it. <laughs> Why? God, he's just, what he's the not, hell was I, that? I just don't know. Oh, I just don't know anymore what this is. That is oh my rotten. fucking god. What? Got three okay. turns, Chief. I know who's turns. to say like, what's right or wrong, but that was all that was wrong. Fucked. Yeah, that, that was, was wrong fucked. in a wrong way. I'm a shit blood ball player, and even I can tell that was fucking wrong. I hope I hope so. I hope just he's not sorry. Because he's gonna he can, have fucking Matt all right his if, if, he, if he can make it into the fucking chalice and I can't, what the fuck is this? <laughs> Yeah, he had and to look, move up a... here, didn't he? he? Had to move up. Yeah. There's an there's an orc just sat on the sideline as well, which at the moment is surfed. That if this goes wrong, this is a full on tilty turn. This is not good decision making. And there is no reason to be tilted. Like if I was fucking tilted out of my mind like, at the start of this... last turn, 
the way the Nurgle's turn went, I would have detilted a nice amount if I could have actually done something good. Absolutely. This was both. This, from both. Now. From both sides, this should have been like a turn out of the book because, like, you just mark the ball carrier like he did, and then you just play a conservative turn, make sure that he has to blitz that ball carrier and be totally fine with it. El Dudorino you know, yep. didn't do that, and then at the same time, like Singolo could have just blitz the player off the ball carrier, get into the middle with the ball carrier, or something like that, or do something else. Just be, have some momentum there with the movement uh, that he has with the with the with the yeah. thrower. I mean, you had the wizard option. Uh, there were two options there that we liked both of, though the bolt was better. Um, if yeah. you don't do that, there was the surf option, which, just as I said, needed a two plus on a one die, and then you had two die to surf an orc and get at least the numbers back slightly better in your advantage and keep your killer back loose behind this screen. There were all sorts of good options that turn, and he picked two very bad ones. It went he's wrong, got, and the orcs took no advantage. He's got it's no hole bizarre. in the screen whatsoever. He can't push up the left now. He's basically guaranteed himself he has to go up the center, and there's nothing in the center of the pitch to, to defend here. Like, you got the you got the beast, which is, you know, pointing no, I mean, up he, the troll there, but there's, there's really yeah, the, not much. No, the, the, I mean, the troll's doing good work on both the beast and the strength five, but... Yeah, yeah, yeah. But that I'm was saying, an like, area that a couple like of like turns it. ago he had a route through, and now he doesn't. Yeah, and he's he's locked up. He's screened himself off. There's literally no way of him getting through unless yeah. he blitzes the duck and pushes with it. Like he's now, closing up troll, his options. Oh, I mean that troll's now out of the drive because not only has he got no friends, but it's stunned. It was, yeah. it was out and of the drive anyway. Like, yeah. Yeah, but now he's banged as well. The minute, the minute <laughs> it was knocked over, it was out of the drive. But now it's completely out of the drive. Yeah, that's fucked. So now we are pushing forward. So again, the fact that we didn't make any attempt to do that and then foul behind. I didn't hate pushing up for in front and then, you know, fouling that piece behind would, you as you go, but fouling it in front of you. I would have just said uh, stood at the rock the water up nice, long This is some nice blocking, moving a lot of the black orcs away from pieces. Just pushing them off saying I don't need to score, I've got a wizard, you need to score. Okay, so, so, so what I would like to see here what I would like to see here is that he actually dodges out with the rotter. That's also a possibility. Dodges out with the rotter and puts him on the sideline next yeah. to the that would be fantastic yeah. because then you then you force again that three plus starch, um, or you just you just he's stand him there. He's only got two rerolls. There's no way he's putting a reroll into that. Yeah. Okay. Or course. just alternatively, you just stand him there and you just let him get hit by the killer so that the yeah. killer stays back. Like any yeah. of those is good. I think that's what's yeah. going to happen. Yeah. Either of those is good. <clears throat> I mean, neither of those could also happen given the circumstances of this game. <laughs> 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 yes. That's true. No, he's just he's he's just standing. Just stood him up, hasn't he? Yeah. That voice is probably I mean, Chunter. You... you can see him there in his rat suit. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Chunter. Crucially, not a silent H. <laughs> 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 wow. <laughs> <laughs> Just making making us a chat now because you know we it amused me so much. I'm not even going to correct your right. northernism of using H. I'm going to let you get away with it, young man. <laughs> fucking northernism. Help me, unfortunately, not, not silent. Northern. What are you talking about, boy? Well, it's that's used across the north, but also in the more working class areas of the south as well. Yes, I'm certainly working class myself. You're all right, Granddad. I'm, I'm a lot of things, but not your son. I know, that's why I correctly said Grandad. But Hermit, he's, uh, he's, he's the boss. Have you not seen? Right, so he is pushing up this flank. I think he is going to foul in behind as well. He's on that definitely going to, yeah. Because the, 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 the thrower gets here, doesn't he? Yeah. So, so he, he literally has to foul him. Although with that stun, he's actually got space to make even more room with the ball. But you'd have to cheer uh, for like, that. This is Max move yeah, to get him there. Going to. I know. <laughs> it's, it's Max move it's to get him there. Because Mr. Throw, such a great ball carrier. <laughs> so yeah, I think you got might there and then found. Yeah, you might. Well, even... I think El Dude's got to have a look at this drive where Singola <laughs> didn't express a lot of sort of desire to head forwards. I wouldn't. I wouldn't why, have hated. Why the hell he's still going to get the score? Oh man, I wouldn't even have hated the GF5 with the with the ball carrier there because like with tackle there, if you fa if, if you feel that foul, it's just GG, isn't it? Well, this close. Is a quick to one. Like bolt or one fireball, beat. what's he doing? Not whether it's the right option, but bolt or fireball. Fireball, always. Yeah. <laughs> Neither. Fireball, you're on you, player, Rick style. You yeah, fireball. Here he goes down. You, you, you got an elf style. You got a fireball, your own LOS. <laughs> <laughs> I think. Hole through the middle of the pitch. 
Attention. Ça va the bolt. I called it as oh. a fizzle. I was wrong to do Just so. Just nothing. Oh, nothing to do. Oh, you can't Actually, stop it wasn't this a perfect score. That is unfortunately a desperation bolt. I would have kept it for overtime. Yeah, yeah. Either, either like you know, hope something fails next turn or, yep. or whatever. Like because this oh. isn't easy to. No. Doing this isn't to his ball. This isn't doable at all. No. That that ball is now just staying there. I uh, I, like no... I, I, next turn. I I disagree. You can actually just try to one D that that black orc and then move forward and then work from there with the with the two header player. Like you could blitz him with the two header player, maybe even somewhere. Like maybe two look look or something like that. Ball. It's in two tackle zones, Chanter. I mean, I love your optimism, but we're not talking gutter runners here. We're talking uh, two-headed beastmen. It has extra moves, arms, so you can easily to, remove one of the tackle zones. He only moves six, and he only dodges at AG4, not AG5. Wait, can't... Wait, wait, wait. Beast doesn't does some have GFIs. Dodge. No, he you want the beast to pick it up? Beast just goes in. He's not going to GFI anything. You won't need a black orc. Well, that's again. If we are going to bolt, then it's inexcusable to not come the other route round and do at least one go for it and put that beast on the ball. But imagine that's, if that's he had surely the only way this works out well. But imagine if he had fireballed. Think about the amount of damage yeah, that would have done. It would have been, been even worse situation because Mister Throw would probably still be on his feet. But imagine if he wasn't and everything else was down as well. Exactly. I'm yeah. Picturing this, I'm thinking it's good. No, I don't like this. It looks good. Yeah. <laughs> that is just, yeah. That's just giving up the whole... The whole well, spectators, right you can decide if you think Elp and Fault Force and their positivity is warranted here, <laughs> or if you're rather more with myself and Crystal Hunter, who feel that this is all woe-begotten, and that the Orcs just need to pick the ball up on a 1 in 9, and it'll all be fine. Yeah, no, that's you all. To, you, need to that's all you. you need to be happy sometimes in your life, you know? I uh, try very hard to be happy. Oh, the ball is based. Oh, strength five has gone in there. No tents on the ball, but got strength five on the ball and block. Oh, I'm still gonna hear well, my that's, heart's pounding. That's, that's better. That's now a seventy-five percent pickup. If you throw a reroll at it, they were absolutely rock hard today. I still think he should have gone all out so here. Like just, just go for that that one D pursue and then just just. Blitz in with the with the two-headed guy and try to blitz in on the on the lineman maybe on the on the dirty player uh, wrestle lineman and just break through there. Like you got to do something. Like this was nothing. Yeah. This blitz. Yeah. And unfortunately, it looks like the strength five is going to get knocked out of the way fairly easily, doesn't it? Yep. The stink could still do a job here. Could double scale. Never know. Yeah. yeah, plans that rely on the opponent double sculling, you never know, <laughs> tends to not be ones that work very well. That's how I play every game. I play it out. <laughs> until, it yeah. does, until it does yeah, work. That's... It's funny, isn't it, right? Because foul <laughs> appearance is one of those rolls that you almost never re roll. But I played yeah. Endzone um, against his Min Max and Urgle team, and I, I re rolled foul appearance twice and double won the both of them. That's like something that you almost <laughs> never see, is it? Unbelievable. Bangs down his catching threat. Well, that's very, Bang. very ballsy. Um, I like that. Because now he... But I would have hit this Wait, first. can he... he there's no, there's no uh, disturbing it's presence. Like, what are you doing? I would have hit this first, right? So that you know that you've yeah. moved, the, that you know that you've moved yeah. the strength five then. Yeah. He's Just already banged it like that. Yeah, he had his pickup hand off. There was no... Wait, what? Can't handle. He's, oh, he's, he's doing it with the blitzer. Yeah, he's he's he, hitting he's, with the black orc. He's yeah, doing of this. He's yeah, he's doing this GFI. Oh, yeah. see, that's why I wouldn't have blitzed yet, right? Because <laughs> reroll. <laughs> yeah, because of this. Now mm -hmm. it has to be a reroll. Has to be. Yeah. Does not nope. reroll it? It doesn't reroll it. Wow. What a shitter! <laughs> he's gonna pick up on the seventy-five percent. Pick up. Does it oh, and dodges out. Oh no! He has to be extra shift. You see, you talk about being happy more, Elp. That's the other thing about the Russian style, is there's a lot of this. There's a lot of just, ah, it'll be fine. And it actually yeah, is. I like that. It's actually a three levels for two. That should not have happened. You yeah, yeah. If I up, though. Fuck. Or, or if that, no, that player was bullshit. Team. Ultimately, it was a four bullshit. plus three plus. That's all right, isn't it? Oh, wait, fine, we can, you can fucking, actually... I've won games actually, worse odds. Yeah, this is, this is too simple. Like, this is down. Yeah, this is three plus. This is three plus blitz, basically. 
I mean, you could you could move this guy to there and then 2D him and then just go for the 2D and or maybe a 1D. That's the problem, isn't it? Oh God! He's just gonna go for the blitz. Oh, oh, one bang, him. The yeah. bang, bang him! He's nuts. Reroll, bang him! Not do that with. You've already got the oh, wizard. At this point, you are pot committed. Got to reroll it. Oh, you've got to hit with wrestle, haven't you? you yeah. Wrestle. Yeah, if it's available, you do, because you need to down him. Well, like fucking that's... pound me sideways. <laughs> As you Hit know full over. well, Jim, when you need to seconds. pound on Ben. Just fuck this. I guess it's the nerves. Yeah, I guess it's the nerves. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, Luke, I mean, I El Duke's done great to get this far. Um, he knows he's swimming in the deep end, and frankly, the last second half of the second half, his coaching has not been at the level that has so far brought him this far. He slightly got away with it because Singolo's been. Whoops! Has been Singolo. Um, oh, but it's going to work out fine, like it tends to. Yep. Nah, mate, he's he's gonna he's gonna he's gonna like quad nah, scuttle here. He's gonna quad scuttle. This, this wasn't again a, just a really interesting set of turns because like yeah. Singolo chooses to hit the the two headed one. I think the big threat was just the wrestle tackle one. So I, I think he should have blitzed the wrestle tackle one. And then when when El Duderino had that opportunity to use the wrestle tackle, um, he just he just doesn't use it. Oh, it's just a game. Push. It's just a oh, game of missed that. opportunities. It seems. Yeah, the wrestle tackle. I. I can't explain it to you. There was a big discussion pre-game about using the wrestle tackle for exactly those sorts of opportunities. You need to start um, telling him to do the wrong things, PC. Because and the same thing from Singolo, which is that you know the wrestle tackle does seem the biggest threat and has the lowest armor on the pitch from the Nurgles. So you just thought that's a hits. natural target. Maybe, yeah, maybe PC. Maybe thing. if you consider this, Hot maybe target. maybe El Duderino is asking you so that he can just look at the data and ignore your opinion. <laughs> 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 well, obviously the data is far more important. Um, I have to say, before his last one against the hu no, the one before the last against the humans, um, he was listening to both me and Andy. Uh, uh, yes. uh, that is simply fine. not true. And then he played the a couple of does not support games, your assertion. Uh, experience after the two practice games was that what I'd said pre-games was spot on. Ooh. And he said. Well, which I liked a lot. Oh, <laughs> wow. That's huge. That's huge. <laughs> That's huge. Can you feel that equity shifting beneath your feet, Fault Force? Oh, mate, I feel it in my loins. That's a big equity fucking shift right there, man. My cloaca oh. is trembling. That was an equity to the point, shift to notice. Yeah, exactly. To the point where it's still rumbling on under us. That equity, it is still shifting. Yeah, that, that was exactly, yeah, it did give him more chance of a cast, but you have to hit that with a wrestle, don't you? You just have to. Hey, I have you to... spunked all his rerolls as well? I just have the feeling, like, you guys say this is a game of three halves, but, like, I, I, I have the feeling this should have been a game of two halves. Yeah, it should have been. Yeah, this, was, this was, yeah. It should have been. And with that talismanic uh, strength five warrior out for the next game, then if dude gets through, at least he might blitz with the right pieces. Um, uh, he's going to be <laughs> struggling. Shag no hate. Struggling without that uh, that strength Crunch. five linchpin to everything he does. Yeah, I mean he needs right. him right because he hasn't got the guard. So like, it it's, no. it really is a huge play for him because it's yeah. it's letting him get these hits in like and blitzes in that he yeah. just wouldn't he be able to exactly. make without it. He does. He needs to dominate through strength and through position because he hasn't got the guard backing up his kill ability. Not possible to one turn here. However, a quick look at the orc bench uh, shows us that they are still at max orc with 11, yep. but nothing spare. Yep, and only 10 for El Duderino, so it's tricky. Certainly is. He's going to get a curb palm and a claw mighty he hit gets in. To hit, yeah, he gets to hit three more orcs. One of them regenerates, the other two, they don't. Mm. But also, the other two are shit. So you'd quite like to claw up on the, the troll for a bigger impact if it works, isn't it? Yeah. I mean, do you I just want to get back on numbers. Do, do, do you set up for a quick snap? Just, to, you know, just in case it happens, you know? Cheeky quick no. snap? No. No. I you mean, set up just in case, case though. Case right. Just in case. You know, che cheeky quick snap, you know? But with only one re-roll, I mean, even then, the, the right man, four. Four. Very good position before you pump that reroll in. I, 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 I kind of blame you, false force, but I kind of want to order Chinese now. <laughs> oh, mate, I might order <laughs> yeah, some Chinese I'm right really now. really into Chinese right now. How about we all order Chinese? Just Let's don't order me any Chinese, false force. Oh, you're getting sorted for chicken. Be quiet. 
Get the ref. Oh, well, this cost him with a, with a foul that gets inevitably sent off. Oh, that's not just for this turn, is it? That's uh, that's for the rest of the... Does that go it's over to the yes. three? Does that go over to the third? Oh, there's the instant oh, cards. Oh, no, oh. Out. Instant Boom, cards. there it goes one. Right, they're back to 10-10. 10-10 till they do it again. This is the right hand. Bang course. this one up as well. Bang him, bang Used him. The old CB speak for hello. It's fine. I'm glad that he wasn't utterly banged and clapped out there because I feel as though neither of them deserved to win this. <laughs> the problem with that help is that this will. is a guaranteed winner format. There is no draw. It is, yeah. You, yeah, sort of sucked. That's why I didn't want him to get two injuries there, so I've still got time to pick who I actually think really win, really should. The question is, though, is he going to run up on the foul? To quote a fan disclaimer, of, uh, fans of overtime, we are nearing that magical moment. To quote oh, a where we get to see some kicks. To quote a fair disclaimer in there, like it's it's easy from this perspective, but it is also like you you do feel the pressure when you're playing this, especially yeah, like it's someone else. when you're playing as well. <laughs> <laughs> it's always I'll wait. <laughs> I'll wait your qualification help uh, from uh, your your years of experience of qualifying for the major tournaments help. Yeah. Oh, he's got the run up. He's got the run up on the foul. He's going in. He's going in for the kick. This is a real good foul, oh. isn't it? Because it's his dirty player as well. So, bang. I'm, yep. I really oh. like making that foul. Yeah. And it got the maximum number of assists in, uh, which he could get, which was nicely done. And it's done because fouling's still a bit rubbish. Yes. Didn't even long bump the the ball there for an extra SPP. Shameless. <laughs> And the ball goes to. Dun -dun 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 -dun. It goes to the Nurgles. Oh. El dude with it all to lose in this overtime period. Boy, how fucking is. daddy blood ball really reaching out the hand there and saying, here, how do we know? have another shot at this, I believe. <laughs> right, quick snap. Go for the quick snap. 100% falls in. I mean, psychologically, very interesting that you consider blood ball your daddy. Equity shift wise, this is very interesting. Like him having the ball here, um, because he did lose a lot of players, like in in the in the in the orc strife. So this could this could all be very very equal. This could be it's perfectly poised. I mean, the orcs have more rerolls, um, better skilled team, a better coach. So you know they've got lots and lots of advantages. But El Duderino has some claws and the ball. Be nice if my, money, my money's on L, dude. It'd be nice if we figured out how he wants to set up his orcs here, you know? Looks like he was going for an anchor there, then with an anchor offset, and now he's gone into this stupid he arrangement. He gets two minutes. He, he, leaves him alone. he gets two minutes, but he's, he's, he's not a rebel three player, three man. Minutes. It's three minutes. Yeah, it's like one more minute, and you're in rebel territory. Like, yeah. God. Views like the brain numbing boring. Not this. supported by the rebel admin team. <laughs> Yeah, I do. I do hope Eldarino wins as well. Like he's been, uh, he's he's been around as a friend as well, and just just casting the games uh, that I was in, in the playoffs, um, just like we see has done recently. So like, yeah. he's a true lad, just like PC is. Yeah. As much as I'm sure that PC would, wouldn't necessarily call it coaching. We just had some chats from which he has drawn strength and some ideas oh, as to how a, he yeah, wishes to take those decisions. It's a business decision for you to say that what he received from you wasn't coaching. <laughs> basically, you know, it hasn't helped yeah. him at all. Well, no, he hasn't paid me. Um, basically, <laughs> if it goes well, I plan to take all the credit. But if he does bad, yeah, you can't take credit for this, even if he wins. Obviously, he didn't <laughs> listen. But these are these are. These are definitely the moments when that, that make or break you as a coach, basically. Like, not the easy games that you just win easily yeah. or lose easily. These yeah, yeah. these are the ones, like, the ones that are, are a struggle for both of them. And, and where you have, like, um, the, the, the mental game in it as well, basically. Yes, and Singolo, of course, vastly experienced in this format. Uh, El Duderino, less so. Hmm. Oh, I fancy a Starbucks right now. <laughs> cheeky Star. Anybody fancy a cheeky Starbucks? What are you gonna get from there, Frappuccino? I'm thinking. Uh, I'm thinking a Frostuccino, mate. All right. Or 
strawberries and cream frostuccino. Anybody else want one? But you got that? Why are they called no, frostuccinos? It used to just be called frappuccinos. I'm, I'm not much of a coffee fan, so that's. Uh... It's no, it's just coffee. Yeah, it's not it's the strawberries and cream. Coffee. Yeah. Mm. Oh, I can get it delivered. Oh, of course, you can. Here. He you hasn't that. actually left himself a natural um, blitz. No. All of that. Beast and by blitz, not maybe. a natural one. I mean, he really hasn't left one at all. Beast blitz or assist. No, that's the two choices, isn't it? Either blitz, either the beast just blitzes straightforward, and he could foul this troll, or the beast yeah. can run around here, and then the. You can the beast. Oh, the beast, yeah, I don't, beast does I don't hate the foul on the troll plan. Oh no, the beast's coming oh, around to provide the assist, and we're chipping the black orc on the corner. That's fine. Oh, I can't count. It wasn't a GFI. Again, it doesn't matter which of these orcs you remove. There are some slightly better ones, but just removing orcs is to the good here, or just pushing them around. Just as good value. Smack, smack. Well, yeah, I think you're in trouble, aren't you? I mean, he's got, he's not, he's got eight turns to score. You know, it's not like he's got, a, you got, he can take it slow, this is the thing. It's not like he has to take it at fucking Mach, you know, Mach 5 speed. Like, he can just, he can just chill, you know? It's it's not only, like, it's it's also a numbers game, truly. Um, but every hit is also, like, 55%, so you would say also it's a positional game. Like, look at the, at the orcs that are blocking the way uh, positionally and try to blitz them. Um, that's the most, that's the most optimal oh, yeah. thing you can do, really. Good, yeah. Before that rotter dropped in, I was a little worried we were leaving this too exposed. Yeah. Trusting the beast. Yeah. <laughs> okay, the ball's committed. Is the foul oh, yeah, going committed come the ball to the, the left side? Pro I don't yeah, think he should. I, I think he shouldn't. No, I don't think troll. it will. If, if he, he was going to foul the troll at all, he would have done Absolutely no time. need. That troll is fully controlled. It's out of the drive. It's irrelevant and marginalised, but I agree oh. we're going to see it. It's not out of the drive. It stands up on a 2 plus and ties up that Chaos Warrior. That's that fine, Chaos that. Warrior is out of the drive. Yeah, but then the troll yeah. is also out of the drive. You'd rather have a strength yeah, 5 guard route with the drive, you know, for a strength 4 guy. That's a nice trade. Yeah, for but you, it, can still, it can still get back up. Oh. I'm what not too you... sure on why you're doing this. What do you okay. guys blitz? Elf what do you guys... another life. What do you guys blitz if you're Singolo here? Like, what, what do you blitz here? Sorry, just go back um, and blitz and Just either the rotten's in front of the ball. Rotters Probably. are so removable, you just get a couple of rotters off the pitch and then the numbers look a lot better for him. Yeah, oh, I'm, I'm looking at the dirty player one, basically. And he's putting pressure on Beast and because it's blockless. Ah, oh, he races a six it. on the really blockless. stupid. What I want to know is why White Whale dude is pretending to be an Aryan and just <laughs> running a rotter down the field. <laughs> it's not like he's going to pass over to it. It's sort of keeping the strength for Blodge, Mr. Throw out of the it's rest of this assisting. drive, because Singolo will hit it. What is this yeah, now? Singolo's going to blitz with the Mr. Throw to get him back. He's going to blitz Mr. Throw off to get him back involved. Okay. Mm. Wow. Didn't bother blitzing him off when he only had three turns to score and was on the outer limits of no. scoring, but now well, he's yeah. going to do it. <laughs> You've got now we're in a hurry. Really this is... the hook back when he's defending. And yet we're not bringing him back in behind. Fuck. That's oh, a strength man. for safety. We're dropping him next to the troll yes. for some reason so, on the already yeah, this, controlled Mogul Warrior. So he, can this is, so he can recover the troll next turn, isn't it? I would think. Yeah. Yeah. What a good a still, gamer, man. A strange a galaxy brain. set of choices. Yeah, I feel like it's very ineffective. Like, you, you'd rather just you'd rather just blitz the, the dirty player wrestler here and just quite take yeah, on top of that lane. We're overlooking the fact that other than the two in front of the flank push. He's just put into a wall of guard in front of his noble team. <clears throat> yeah, but it's one of the few places knocked over, where LD can over it. break through. Unbelievable. Yeah, and I think he can knock it over, and I think he probably can break through, maybe next turn. Mm. But I think there's a good chance he can knock almost all of these orcs over. Mm. It's uh, optimistic. Do be like that. <laughs> well, I perhaps have caught it from you two. <laughs> Your innate charm and optimism has rubbed off on me. <laughs> you're welcome, PC's ah. family. Yeah, you're, gonna do and of course, you're welcome for the benefits it brings you in life, PC. Some, something has rubbed off on me anyway, I <laughs> Told you not to sit there. PC smelling of cloaca right now. <laughs> what would a cloaca even, smell of? Jesus. What even is a cloaca? Oh, oh, give me a second. <laughs> give it a cheeky Google. Where's a cloaca? Yeah. 
Oh, so it's fucking yeah. birds secrete like they secrete fucking everything, everything, everything from it from one hole. It's so it's, so it's, it's like a it's like a bird's asshole essentially. Well, yeah, but it's also the fun hole and the piss hole as well. <laughs> Frogs yeah. have cloacres, okay. Yeah. Chickens have cloacres, okay, okay. Lizards have them, don't they? But not lizard men, because lizard men. Uh... Well, lizard, I what guess the they'll still they'll only use it for two other things, won't they? Lizard men will have it, but they'll only use it for two of the things. I've, I've just I've just found an article. So this Why is do, li do lizard men have cloacres and birds? They they don't have fun holes, do they, lizard men? They don't have fun. Don't they? No. How do they make more lizard men? They have spawning pools in every. Oh yeah. Every yeah. now and then. I well, thought they were thought they were eggy boys. No, they're not. They have spawning. No, they're not eggy boys. Made by made by the old ones. Reduced go. to the humble one day. Yeah, didn't want to bring <laughs> in that wrestle guy exposing his. No. Toe. But I mean, would not. No, well, I mean, the last time he, the last time he put it in, it got banged out instantly, didn't it? So mm -hmm. I think there was a lesson there. Yeah. It do be like that. No, it's like we've um, we've just accepted that this wall of guard is not something we can punch our way through. It would seem. Yeah, but that's immediately the problem as well because you're giving away the center now. Like this is not going to be a good opportunity to to run through afterwards. No, like this is going to be really bad. Is this uh, is this a you score you win kind of situation? It is. Yes. Yeah. Then uh, then he's fucked. <laughs> he is. Isn't? Wait, I can't see because Jimmy's screen, but the ball sackable maybe. Uh, not really. Uh, at the moment, yes. Yeah. I just it's the so him and then that, him and that needs to change, G5, yeah. G5, G5, G5. Yes, so you, so you return with the router to just close the screen there. It's not a big... He didn't do it. We'll see Golo go for the sack. Uh, I don't this think Mr. Throw will, now yeah. oh, I'll do uh, it. monsters this ball, doesn't he? I don't, I don't think he will. I think he'll just kill... It'll, well, not kill, attack the killer. And, uh, and oh, just, you know, try to surprised. keep going. You think, given a very easy chance to sack the ball, he's not going to? Yep, already yep. he has not. <laughs> <laughs> oh, fuck off! Well, the fact that that was with the thrower, let alone with the troll, <laughs> let alone the fail, means it obviously wasn't going to happen. <laughs> I, mean, I, I can't... Oh, man. That's the obvious, like... Yeah, even I thought that ball there. Do you know what I mean? Like, no, I don't think he did have to go for the ball there. I think I, 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 I was confident this was happening. Yeah, same here. Like, I was like. Don't and pass. we re roll when we've got two re rolls to hit on a complete shitter that isn't relevant to well, anything else dude's going to do. Skull. It was a dub skull PC. Yeah, but you just you take it, you ride it out with your AV9, and it's going to be fine. It's still controlled by a strength for black Then you orc. can't foul. Then you can't uh, foul the beast. You, you, you oh, can't fine. foul, that's true. I wonder. Which would have meant you wouldn't have KO'd the beast, so I was wrong. <laughs> yeah. This is this all is making me wonder how Singola plays like Skaven or Wood Elves or that kind of thing. Like, this is just he... like this, but really successfully. It, everything is. This is the Russian way. This is why they have things to teach us, Chunta. He's in a good position still, but Imagine that was, how was... you play everything. Imagine doing that, but with just killing stuff as your focus. And that's... it works, mm. somehow. And also with a bit of added Space Cadet, I don't care what happens to my ball. You have a serious chance on the right flank here, though. Now, like you can actually just try to to do something here. Maybe just get forward. Just try try to rush away, dodge yeah, out, just, something like you that. Can win the game if you choose to. Yes. Yeah. I think you probably should choose to do exactly that. Particularly I mean, the troll being stupid, which well, actually, should never, never actually, have been activated. If you yeah. weren't using the troll to free up the thrower, then you can't activate the troll. Yeah, yeah. I think the troll should be activated. This is entirely your own fault. Now, one All step more, and we provide the assist by. to knock over the blitzer. And then the warrior runs forward as our full screen, and then the ball arrives too. Yeah. If he had gone yeah, for the, the five man fireball, this wouldn't have been a problem. <laughs> the killer folds in round behind. I, do we need to stay on the troll? I suppose we are keeping the bulk black orc down as well. Oh, sorry for my outburst there. I'm just used that that kind of thing just gets punished with a hammer, you know, like that kind of yeah. positioning where it's just open like that. Yeah. It doesn't. Yeah. I, I, I don't know. I, I honestly didn't hate 
playing it safe the way he did. Though he did, I, I hated the troll activation once you go that way. Um, yeah. Because you know, like you're you're used to like everything working, right? Shouldn't I? I'm thinking if I go for that, I'll use a reroll in the first GFI and won't even be able to make the second GFI to hit him. You know, plus I'd have to activate the troll nah, first to make the initial hit. So like, there's basically guaranteed failure for me if I try that move. So best just to not try. So there you go. Yeah, but at the same time, Jim, like you can you can you can you can put some airbags on there. Like you can you can make sure that you just. Don't horribly crash, crash because of the fail state there. Like that's that was enough like possibility yeah. there to really control I mean, you, the center you, and just you go tank for the rotter in behind everything as he did, and you do a couple of other little safe moves first, and then you try the troll. And if you get a power, it is two plus two plus for two die on the ball. I think that's insane to turn that down. I don't know. I don't know. That, that, that's how I've got a one-two-six record against Space Cadet by these crazy players who are trying to hit the ball carry. <laughs> no, no, no. Well, I'm I'm the other option, Jim, is just wait until they hand it to you. And in my experience, coaches, no matter how bad they are, rarely want to do that. How hard is Singolo going to hit himself if 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 El Dudirino walks through that line on the right side and scores yeah. right now? Yeah. Well, he'll just go back to his absurdly min-maxed dwarf team that's ready for the next chalice. Yeah, fair enough. Mm -hmm. But he should be crosser than that. He's got the he's got the black hole hit on the ball this turn, hasn't he? But one, two, three, four, still get two GFIs. Will he try it? Who knows? Well, he needs to power on this hit first, but still. Yeah, this this was not done safely. I mean, we should never have been on that troll because it gives us a route through. Oh, he's already not going for that. He's just hitting your deepest guy. Not a, not a prerequisite, sorry. The deepest like, guy far away, so he can't be... Right, what? this is two easy ball shots in a row we've turned down. If we lose this game, I am fully blaming Singh. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I, re I really God. like this. This is a 3D, isn't this was it? You guys are already stupid. So try it 3D. And, oh my God, he's going to use his last reroll. He can't, right? Yeah, but he hasn't course, picked up these two, so he's going to feel terrible. Yeah, you have to. You have to. Yeah, you haven't done enough but to put the defence back in place. This this line of place is a completely untouched blitzer that hasn't even moved yet. This this situation was harder than the last turn. Like this situation yeah, required more dice. Who's now going the wrong way? Why is he going there? <laughs> <laughs> Look, he could have he could have done all this first. Then he had the two double two fried, didn't he? I don't know how you do. I just don't know how you do that. I don't know how you do. You see, getting... all these right. Like if you do these blocks and I mean, then and then and then you see if you still got a reroll, right? So if he has still had a reroll, then you can make the two GFIs for the hit. If, if, if PC is getting angry about Blobble, you know you're doing something wrong. I was going to say, like he seems mildly vexed, doesn't he? <laughs> you vexed fair. I am. I'm not happy. <laughs> this is fuck. I mean, I could live with him turning down ball hits for two turns in a row, because as Jimmy says, sometimes you see actually a better position to take advantage of. If you do this, that, and the other, then next turn it's going to be even easier. There's nothing you can do. But that Equity is the case. shifted. Yeah. Um, and then dropping the Blitzer in to get that hit on the Claw Mighty uh, Nogal Warrior, rather than dropping it back ahead of this ball, just seems. I, I think I think the wrestle tackle ridiculous. on the I think the wrestle tackle one there would have been really strong to just have the I mean, Nogal Warrior along. But we this two is also plus good. off this thing and hit the killer. Yeah, and this looks good. And then as long as we bang it down, that helps. It doesn't solve all problems, but it helps. And then we run away using as many go for it as we've got until the dice pop. And then we dodge out the rackle piece. Yeah, perhaps more than that, because we need <laughs> to be out of the Black Hawks range. Come on, two more steps. Two more steps. Just take them one at a time. It's fine. There's one. And now the second. And there's the second. There we go. Now That's we just foul. need to dodge the rackle out, control yep. it. And, uh, yeah, you can foul. You've got a bribe, haven't you? Mm. Need the stun. Stun solves all problems here. Yeah? Yep. Got to go up this square, hasn't he, for this uh, this block talk. Here or right here? Yeah. I mean, I, I like directly in front of it. I, th I think the diagonal is the wrong place, usually. That's the right square. Does he foul? Yeah. Come on, have the nuts to foul. Feel my vote, my. Oh no, this he's gone to the wrong square. square. This is the wrong square. This, this, black can, is the wrong still, square. that makes it easier to get there. You can still change his mind. Yes, he, he has one minute 40 to think about this. Just think, oh, oh no. 
No, that's terrible. <laughs> terrible and wrong. He could have. He could have thought about that. And if you're dodging off there, you need to do at least two more go for it and get in front of this black orc, or one more at least. But if you do one more, you should have gone on to the black orc. I would have seriously just taken like one minute thirty seconds okay, to think that's about fine. which square two, I would have put two in. There yeah. is okay. Um, and whether it would have dodged a one deep with this guy as well. Yeah. Yeah. He's wrestle, isn't he? This, this current, no, he well, look, it's a 3 plus for a 1 die. That's not terrible. Or it's 2 plus 2 plus for 3 plus 2 die. Um, I think I do the 2, two plus. Secured the 2D. Yeah, and now it's 3 plus for 2 die. Or we could just, of course, blitz the rackle piece and control the ball again. <laughs> no, nope, nope. uh, two heads oh, on the Not this time, Jim. Oh, no. uh, it's the 3 plus. Oh. Here we go, no re-rolls. Oh, it's the saucy push. Here's for those two double scores. It, you really should have gotten the position there. He didn't really have to really use those first turn, turn one especially, wasn't it? He didn't have to use that. Turn one, he didn't have to do it. He was fine. Now, there's uh, re-rolls for dude either. This is a tough position, to be fair. Do you do the one die blitz on the uh, blitzer in front of you, needing just a push and then a... Mm -hmm. Two but plus we off. Know, we don't know what's going to happen here. He, can get, he could get the, uh, he could get another blitzer in. He could get a thrower in as well. There's lots of. Yeah, no, there are other ways to complicate it. Ah, no, they can't really get the black hole in because of this. So I think the troll two, hits him, doesn't he? Troll two, hits him. Three, four, five, six. Follow. Yeah, the black hole's not that relevant. Yep. Do you dodge out the thrower first? Hello again. Oh, that's yeah. Big. He's 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 a blodge piece. That's a one in nine. Yeah, I, I like blocking. I like though. blocking here first, so that the that you would have given Two, three, you the angle, four, right? Five. Five. Yeah, you could have got the angle better. No, you're right. The block was better. That's big. Yeah. Nice, reduced to nice. GFI, but the uh, the fail on that dodge, very very big. Mm. Now, Deputy I think it is. Blitz out using a one die, needing a three plus, followed by a two plus. Yeah. So that's the play here. It it takes some balls, it's much easier to dodge out backwards, but that I think is death. Oh. Oh shit. There you go. Single yeah, not strategy to be. of waiting to get the ball handed to him, paying off. <laughs> yeah, that is specifically I... what I said. You wait for them to hand it to you, and he did just do exactly that. He just handed it to him. Yeah, like so uh, your answer should have been yes, Jimmy. That is what I wait for. <laughs> I, I just, I'm just not a fan of hanging with my hands on the ledge there before I actually do something. You know, like just, just almost yeah, falling just off it. into the cliff. Yeah. yeah. Like. Well, it was oh, a three well. plus. You know, third of the time, those aren't going to work. <laughs> now it's super important that you get your head back in the game. You look at what equity you've got where on the pitch, and you try and get in front of these orcs coming forwards with this ball, assuming they can pick the damn thing up. I really... Why... <sighs> right, so you need to get your killer back up and active. That's the most important thing. Yeah, they pick it up. Of course they do. Black Oak punches this guy, doesn't he? And then your troll can come in to uh, protect. Yeah, I was going to say, there's a there's a fairly sexy looking. Not be sitting with the troll, I hated that. Sitting with the troll. Well, it's three die, Jim. There's the upside of that. And then it's, you know, that piece is still marked if it goes wrong. Yeah. I think you base for base there. Whether that being Singolo scoring for it. Now, I think you bring the Claw Mighty Nurgle Warrior Central and then you blitz using your killer just to get the killer back up and active. Yeah, yeah. I ordered some wontons. Drop back in front of <laughs> I ordered some wontons. No, no, yeah, no. GFI. He's going to GFI with his rod then to get back. The wrong piece, though. Yeah, I, I, I agree. I would have rather got the assistant with him and then just do it without dice rolls. But then at the, the at this point you need something to go well for your right. So you might yeah, you do. You and having them both in the backfield is better than one. That is strong. Well, if the but rest of the game going up. well for you wasn't enough for you to win it, I don't think a little yeah. bit of stuff going well here is. No, well, we need to back up our coach level again, don't we? We need to find some good plans, some good ideas here. Yeah. And first of all, we need to stand everything up to make as many orcs as possible not able to move easily. Yeah. 
that's the easy and obvious stuff. There's two orcs here in the backfield, uh, two Nurgle in the backfield here that definitely aren't dodging, and they haven't stood up yet before this go for it. Oh no, it's not a there's go for the, it. Oh, oh Jim, now I definitely day, don't understand. Oh, maybe he's hitting the ball. One, two, three. No, he can't. He'd have to call no, the Rotter two. can on the 1D, which is oh, very, very He's hopeful. blitzing the ball. He's blitzing the ball. No, he's going to blitz him. He's going to 1D blitz him. Oh, okay, I hate this. This, that's, how is any of this a good idea? I mean, now that Black Orc isn't controlled. That was a one die. The odds of it working were really low. So now they've got two natural, good, strong pieces ahead of where this ball he's, goes. Now he's he's swimming. These guys up at the end. In fact, you blitz with the ball carrier here, don't you? And then Not you defend with the pieces you've got left afterwards. Dodge double GFI, base the ball. Okay, well, that's quite nice. That's a nice... A nice instead, but the no, first half of this turn. Yeah, that had to be the first thing, didn't it? Like that, that is all right if you make this dodging GFIs. It is nice. Yeah. So like, but the the rotter was never dodging, so that had to stand up. Oh yeah, of course. I thought that was a free plus. Didn't realise the black orc and stuff there. In case any uh, eagle-eyed YouTubers are watching. <laughs> oh, I'll watch you on YouTube. Us. Why the fuck are you not on the stream? I think it's kind of sweet that you feel you've got to explain why you didn't get something help. It's going to keep us busy if you do that every time. Hee <laughs> 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 um, so, hee. Do you just put the black orc on it and blitz off backwards, push it onto the edge and then run forwards? Uh, no, you blitz with the black orc and then surf him if it doesn't work. I know it, I know it means we making We haven't got GFIs. time for that, Jim. We just yeah, haven't got time for it. We need I know to there forwards. isn't time for it, but I, I still, it's what I thought Singola would do, and he did indeed hit from that direction. <laughs> do you know you're using Wrestle here? Oh, because if he doesn't, he falls over. Oh. Yeah. 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 Yeah, okay, of course. That is how it works, yeah. Yeah. It do be like that. Ooh. Oh, that's huge. Now you just trigger blitz and got the instant one day. He based a needless assist. Yeah, is there any way we can get a second anything onto that? I don't think there is. There's a three plus with a rotter unless the I mean, oh my God. bangs it out. I gotta say, this game is super entertaining. <laughs> it's crazy, isn't it? Uh, do we? I, I think the ballsy move here is you three plus with the rotter. So that you get two die on the ball carrier. You don't need a free plus. You need the chaos warrior to knock the guy down that's next to the dirty player wrestle rotter, right? Then one, well, two, you, you three, can three plus four, blitz. Five. You can three plus blitz. Your either op your other option is a one d yeah. from this rotter. Yeah, yeah, that's that's just not. No, no, no. You, you hit no, the chaos warrior going up. One d from him. him a one d from him into a one d from him, hoping for a power. Like, nah, you can't. Which is to simply like like three plus touch there with the with the with the killer, right? And then yeah. just two dice. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, three plus that's, touch. That's, that would have been a play. You can't you can't rely on all these like one Ds or, or whatever. No, yeah, or failing that, 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 that you do the you do the one die with the claw mighty on the black hawk and then as a blitz and then you swing in to put the assist oh. in to get two die. But that had to be two die, didn't it? We we were put it in this perspective, like if you if you don't roll the five plus on a one D you lose the game. If you don't roll a, a, a two E plus touch if you if you if you feel the three plus touch you do you lose the game as well, so you go for the three plus touch. Well yeah. Like, yeah, yeah, I think yeah. yeah, no, I think this is the better one, right? There's this guy here, he could have dodged, yeah, that was the yeah. better yeah, one. Yeah, that's the one I was talking about, the yeah. rotter. Yeah, I didn't see he dodges out he dodges out and he stands next to Mr. Throw, and if yeah. that works, then we've got a blitz, and if we get it down, we can try and pick up afterwards and run away even. Yeah, yeah, that that was by far the best because the the the, uh, the failure state still gives you like the ball base, doesn't it, and another chance and everything. Yeah, that, that I mean, all they all he's got to do is push you off, so it's a one in nine, but it does give you that. Yeah, it's something. Yeah, that rotter three plus dodge, I I still stand by that. That's the play I would have tried, or at least I hope I would. Yeah, you never know being an ace out there. Yeah. I mean, no, no, I mean absolutely the pressure, the hot day where I play at yeah. this time of day, it's the sun streaming in. Oh man, and, and he, he can be he can be pressure this late in a chalice. He, he can be proud. I mean like if I if I would if I would get into the final eight after like after for the first time trying this, like just for the first time getting into chalice, like I would have signed up for that. 
<laughs> I got yeah. eliminated the first round. I don't know about you guys when you got to Chalice the first time, but... Um, getting into Chalice. <laughs> I think the first time I got through to the second round and then got eliminated. Is that the second or third time you've done a little humble brag? <laughs> here we go. Still has a chance here on a 4+, plus, I guess. He's got him? Wow. We might actually Boom. see how the Grino get through still. He's broken his arm oh, now. God. He's dead. He kills him. <laughs> he, he really has got him. <laughs> Holy shit. Wait, are we going to see it's this go to kicks? Is it going to go to yeah, kicks? Yeah, this is looking very kicky. Yep, there is the there's on nothing in range. In range. So one sec, one sec, one sec. Who's in range? Who's in, in nothing's range. in range? Just going to so dodge him away. Just try and in. So just try yeah. and pick it up. No, no, just, just need to dodge the rackle. Away. GFI, just GFI once. No, just no, do that. No, 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 just dodge away the rackle. No, no, that's all GFI, you need. Just dodge the rackle. Would you not GFI Nothing's in range. The ball? Nothing's in range, Chunna. Even okay. if you fail the dodge, it's fine. The rackle just needs to move. It just yeah. needs to not be there. Yeah. And okay. then it's fine. Then, in fact, you can <laughs> run him forwards because you still bit. get. Oh yeah, yeah. There's no scoring threats. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, there's no scoring threats. Just dodge him away so that there isn't a push off. Here we go. Oh my god. It's going to kicks. It's going to kicks, boys! It's going to kicks. He's neutralized earlier in the half. Depressingly, oh, wow. of course, there are no rerolls left. So we're not so going to see any kicks. animations for no reason. Yes. Every animation is going to actually be meaningful. I mean, oh. Unless oh. someone wins six died, in which case... Oh, this is going to be exciting. Kicks for no reason. So how, like, how does how does it work, then? So they just kick the ball? Yeah. <laughs> Mate, I'm excited. I mean, it, <laughs> what actually happens behind the scenes is they each roll a d6 and add their remaining rerolls. Which they don't have any, so it's just going to so be... every one that they get on those d6, we have to watch a kick go over the bar. Yeah. Are, you happy, are you happy with this result, Alpine? Because you said neither of these uh, yeah. deserve yeah, to win. Yeah, this is it. Yeah, this is it. This is, this is it, neither yeah. Neither of them actually, deserve to win, so it's... How it actually yeah. works is we, we, see, we... we see kicks equal to the number rolled minus one. Yeah, I was going to say, it's the number rolled minus one, isn't it? Because if it's 2-1, you just see the, the winning penalty. You don't see the... You see a miss and a win. Oh, you, mate, I'm you, waiting you to see this see, animation. You don't see the one go over. No. So, yes, it's the number of rolled minus one, Jim Spawn. You've never seen this. This is one of the great moments of Blood Bowl. <laughs> We're all tense and on the side of our seats. Anyone wants to get coffee, I'll tell you what happens when we get back. The both teams are so terrible. That the game has to decide for them who wins. <laughs> yep. It's a fast and in Blood Bowl 2020, death. that has been updated. Now you roll three d6s. Each Ooh. one pairs up against just one of their d6s. And whoever wins the most. Here we go. Penalty shoot. You actually roll five. It's even more. Five. Pointless. Yes, five. You're sorry. As I said it, I corrected myself as well. <laughs> Listen to Jim. He knows what he's talking about. I just say things in a posh way. Oh, man. Here Look at we the go. Fade to black. Man. Close. Close it's your eyes, guys. Commentate from Jimmy's run here, so anybody... Somebody, knows, somebody hold Fault Force. I don't want him to wet him to Oh, mate, I'm excited. I'm excited. Come on, kick equity. Here we go, the troll. Hits. <laughs> Bangs it in. Excellent. Okay, so we know that the Orcs rolled at least a two. Oh. 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 He kicks in. Jungle Warrior, Woo. he kicks it. It's good. Woo! <laughs> Mate, this is more thrilling than the game. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Bang! <laughs> and the Orcs rolled at home. least a three. <laughs> Boy, howdy. We could be here for a while. We're going to see some more of these. Oh, he's oh, missed no. it! He's missed oh, it! Oh, he's missed it! So the oh, Orcs win by three or more versus El Duderino's two. Boy, I'll do it. Oh. If we have a post-game wash-up session, I shall tell him he needs to roll more than a two when it comes to penalties. <laughs> why, why are you putting him ahead on penalties? Be less shit during the game. <laughs> well, there you go. It was 6-2, was it, Razzle? Oh. Wow. There you go. He should have had five re-rolls, and he would have won on kicks. <laughs> <laughs> Um, yeah, there you go. That was it. Orcs. Orcs with a dead killer win the match. Unbelievable.
and it was a valley 86 blocks again that's just the same as the last game wasn't it uh, we did the Sindain wow. versus Cruz got 86 I believe blocks that's 86 successful you must have got the ones that failed no it inclu successes include fails because the game's stupid does it? yeah fucking cyanide <laughs> yeah classic cyanide um, yeah that so there you go dead killer unbelievable and, unbelievable uh, Jeff yeah, incredible match. Near oh, it, oh, the cruise game had 87. Oh, there you go. That's still crazy, isn't it? 86 and 87. The orc, these orc teams so, getting all of the blood. Yeah, the three. Yeah, three cracking uh, halves of blood bowl there. Absolute blast fest of fighting and midfield tactics. <laughs> it's been and super uh, Singola goes through, but plays the iron price. Yes. The claw has certainly left his mark upon him. Absolutely. And commiserations to El Dude, of course, but uh, like I said, um, I guess I guess we're all proud of you. <laughs> we can all say uh, that, right? Yeah, I'm sure yeah, he's absolutely gutted right, right now, but he'll wake up tomorrow celebrating the fact that he got to a chalice score of five. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> it was great. It was. <laughs> oh, I, I, I'm not going to say anything. It was great. It was a great run. Um, I was just thinking of what he told me about it. it was it when he got through the first like when he won the first game, whatever he said. It was like the first time he held a tit. <laughs> Second game, the first time he ate arse. <laughs> so yeah, he was pretty happy about it, and he said there was a lot of, you know, he had a lot of nerves and everything. So there you go. Um, so yeah, yeah really great performance overall. It's been a great run because he is such a nice chap, and he's been so humble about it, and so thrilled just to have been there. Um, which has made it's reminded me actually to be more grateful of the good results I sometimes get in Blood Bowl, the good luck I sometimes get, because <laughs> it's been a joy to watch his pleasure at, at this run in the Chalice. Um, yeah. And I mean, you know, those of us that reach the chalice will tell you, sometimes it, it can be very draining, very difficult games. Um, but it is fun to do. Yeah. And so what will Singolo face next, uh, next round? Do we I, know that? I don't know, but I'm going to wrap up the video before I can tell the people watching on YouTube. Fuck them. <laughs> <laughs> so, thank you very much for the commentary. Elk Meme and Fault Fours, the, 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 two, the two banter boys, and of course, Chunter and PC, the two people who know about Blood Bowl. Thank you very much, guys. <laughs> it's been great. <laughs> Thanks for having me. <laughs> Thanks for watching everyone, don't forget to leave a like and subscribe, and stay fantastic.